Can you guys hear me now? When I did a test before, it was working fine. And I come in. Here we go. We're good now. We're on. Happy Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Finally, audio is working. I tested it before. It was working fine. And you know how things go. It shut off on me. It's been a minute since I've been live with everybody. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing out there? Hey, what's up, Ruckus? Hey, Deb. Who this is here? Yeah, who this? I don't know. You know how it goes. It's like everything works, and then you hit the go live button, and it turned off my AirPods, so I had to go with the Maxes. It's fine. Steph, what's doing? I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Jill's here. Val's here. Mrs. Thang's here. Jinx is here. Shelly. Phil Bond. Princess Buttercup. Sees through. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? How's everybody uh, liking all the uh, wackiness surrounding Delphi as usual? You know, it's uh, the way of the world, I guess. And honestly, that's, I always told you from the beginning, the reason I came on YouTube was to help. And if I feel like I'm not helping or anything, you know, it's kind of why I took a break. It's just uh, some things were said to me, not like really in a very negative way, but um, some things were said to me about, uh, just one piece of the case. So I, you know, just, it's a break. I actually got, I also got very busy with, um, with coaching. I'm, I'm, I coach both my kids. So two teams at a time, uh, soccer, then basketball and not softball, but and baseball, but I, I'm stepping back a little bit just, uh, just for this sport. And it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot coaching, uh, both, both kids. Um, Marsh, been hell of a lot of legal stuff happening. We don't understand. What don't you understand? We'll, we'll go over whatever you, whatever you want to go over. We'll go over and um, go from there. Alexa, what's up? What is up, my New York friend? First time here, new sub. Welcome. Welcome to Analysis of a Crime with CD. Yeah, it's it's honestly, Shelly, it's such a it's so much fun. It really it really is just a lot of fun. It's uh, you know teaching the kids just you know just watching some kids who are so shy from when you start the season and then you get them to come out of their shell. Uh, we made it to the semifinals with the county for my daughter's uh, sixth grade team. I was sixth and sixth and seventh grade, but my my whole team was sixth grade. I kept I I tried to keep my entire team from last year together. So we made it into the uh, county tournament, uh, but we lost in the semifinals. It's just kind of, uh, you know, just the the game got a little too big for them, and uh, it was tough. A lot of turnovers. It was it was brutal. I, I took it. I took the loss pretty bad too. We couldn't score. We couldn't score. But it was it was just a it was a fun season. Very very enjoyable. You know. And, and honestly, you can't you can't get these minutes back with your kids. I mean, my, my daughter's twelve already. You know, uh, my son's going to be nine, and my little guy's three. It's like where where do these years go? So it's uh, just it's been a lot of fun doing uh, coaching. Ever. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, Boston. Yeah, exactly. Middle school started. You know, New York. You start middle school in sixth grade, so middle school started, and and. You, you know, you, that's where you, you know, you're changing your classes each period and everything else. So just, you know, a lot of big changes, a lot of big changes. Is RA rushing the trial a good or bad thing from the defense team? Well, I mean, listen, we, we spoke about it. We spoke about it uh, with everything, you know, the defense team is doing. I, I'll tell you a quick story from when I, when I first became a cop and, um, but it was like one of my first arrests and we, that I had to go to court for. And I got real, re, like I got really pissed at the defense attorney personally. Like it, re, it re, I, like I was boiling because he was, you know, listen, defense attorney. They're trying to get their 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 person off, so they're going to say anything they want. But as a, a pretty cop, when they're you know questioning your integrity, you know, they're just throwing. They just basically just throw as much shit out there to see what's going to stick on the wall. 
But I took it to heart to where he was like question my integrity on the arrest. And it was more so he's just putting out his stuff out there. What, you know, but I took it personally, you know, and um, just watching what, what Richard Allen's defense team is doing. It's uh, a lot of interesting things going on, on both sides. A lot, lot of interesting things going on both sides. You got, uh, you know, people going to court, content creators fighting on the sidewalk, wacky, wacky shit going on, you know, well, very wacky. Hey, cold truth is in the house. What's up? A lot of wacky things. It's just this case attracts insanity, you know, it just does a lot of insanity. And um, I don't know. Uh at a courthouse, nothing should be about you person when you're dealing with a case that two girls were murdered. I, I don't care what somebody says about you. It's just that, that doesn't matter. It's nonsense compared to the reason that they should be there. But, you know, clicks and views, you know, clicks and views. Can't say I'm here for clicks and views. I, I, I haven't had a live in 11 months, you know, but people are here for clicks and views. And uh, just the problem is, is you know people watch them you know if you give them an audience you're going to feed their ego i am sure there is bossy i'm sure there is a good video going around you know i don't even know i don't i, I mean i know who rick snay is i don't really know much of the other guy but to be making a, a you know a court day about yourself is just it, it just shows you where people are coming from you know, shows you where people are coming from. Delphi, uh, murder for clicks. Well, you know, it's sad. It's with every, it's every case, but this case is just, uh, you know, they had somebody, somebody who put on, you know, the crime scene photos, turned it into digital art so that, you know, things are blocked out. But what's going on? What are we doing? What is going on, man? You're hurting the families by doing that. Yes, it's going to be seen at trial. Yes, but it's not for some random YouTuber to put up on on YouTube. That's just that's batshit crazy. But that's what's here. That is what's here. Batshit crazy people. Hey, Miss Dog Lover, what's up? No, oh, no, he just he's banned from all future. Uh, he's banned from all future uh, court appearances for the Delphi case. Because he was fighting with some guy outside. No, 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 we maybe. I, I don't really know the guy's name. The other guy, not really sure. Randy Gravit, what's up, buddy? How are you? It's been a minute since I've seen you. I, you probably go live. It's just, I'm not really on, just been busy. I haven't been on YouTube much. I hang out in Sonny's chat here and there. But um, I'm back, though. CD is back. It's time. It is time. Uh, be interesting to see what the prosecution has on RA. I got uh, Adam coming in. I'm waiting for him to come in, and we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go over some stuff. I've, I have some notes that I uh, took last night on what I wanted to cover, especially um, evidence against RA, what uh, Dickie Allen has against them, and what the defense is gonna attack. Um, got to be honest, uh, a lot of the stuff that was let's let's rewind to 2017. A lot of the stuff that was said from the beginning has come true a lot of what you know what was described and everything else what does it say why is it going down ah, yeah my thank god that's over little man's uh three three and a half he's three and a half now best best kid ever best kid ever oh, and look who is here hey what's up yes what is up how's it going it is going. How you been? Good. Good to see you. I think everyone's, I think everyone's happy to see you. Was that? I think everyone's happy to see you. I'm sure. I'm here. I'm always around, you know. It's just, that, you know, I, I had to take a break. I did. You know, uh, something I said was, not that I was wrong of what I said, but it was just questioned. And it uh, made me pause because I'm like, you know, it's not for me to, in a way, put something out there that could hurt this case in any way. It's just not, you know? So pause was in order, but uh, insanity has brought me back. This is insane what's going on. 
Yeah. What what what, what do you what do you what 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 do you think is what what's up with everything? What what do you think is going on? I, I, I mean, who can even guess anymore? I mean, I think that you know, just when you think that Delphi's gotten as crazy as it can get, it gets crazier. So mm -hmm. I've stopped predicting anything. I know. Well, it's, it's just you know, just the fights at the courthouse. Like, what is? I mean, it's I don't care what anybody says to you. Like, I, I know Rick Snay was there to testify, and that went out the window. You know. Yeah. You can't make shit about yourself, you know. Right. It, it's just not about you. It's not, you know. Yeah. Not about you, but clicks and views, my man. What's going on with you? What are you doing? You just went, I saw you. I saw on Facebook. You just went away. Yeah, I was just I was down in Atlanta for the weekend, but I'm back and I'm hanging out with my niece today. So she's um, downstairs right now. Nice. That's, listen, great yeah. moments. How how old now? Two and a half. She's she's like a year younger than Mason. That's yeah. awesome. That's great age. Fun age. Yeah. She napped during the day because my little guy gave that up. He doesn't nap anymore. Nap is um, over. It's, it's getting later and later. So, you know, yeah. now it's like 1231 usually, you know. Yeah, at least you're getting something. Yeah. My, my little guy by 730 at night, he's helicopter and he's exhausted. He's just ready to shut down. He'll he'll, he'll go till 9, 930, man. He'll just yeah. keep battling. But, yeah, kids are at school today. Uh, I was going to do it live yesterday, but they were putting new cameras up at, at my little guy's school, which is a good thing. Security's good. Yeah, Need more crazy. security. Randy Gravit is doing good. Alexa, the problem is that, you know, there's people that live in a fantasy world and they take Delphi as not a real case. They take it as, you know, it's just, you know, sensationalized and it's not real. You know, that little wacko that put the pictures up is, you know, what are we doing? You know, yeah. what do you do? What are you, what are you guys doing subscribing to something like that though? I mean, I know people like controversy, but you know, what are we doing? I, I don't get it. You don't have to say that. I'll, I'll take the. I'll take the hit. I, he can attack me. I don't really care. Attack me. It doesn't matter. Been attacked by a lot bigger people than that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, generally, I think just the divide in the in the social media community with Delphi has gotten so um, so divisive. As far as you know, it's almost like you know you can't just be in the middle anymore and just want to see justice happen. You have to either yeah. be pro prosecution or pro defense. And I mean, yeah. And it really, at the end of the day, for the majority of people that cover this case, other than the families and the people that, have, that live it, yeah. none of our lives are going to change, regardless of whether Richard Allen's found guilty or innocent. No. And so all of this stuff that people are doing, it, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's really sad and it's, it's unnecessary. Well, you know, you got to take mental health with it too. Absolutely. You know? What what you, what you see going on? I mean, there's there's a this is I've never seen anything like this. You know, I saw wackiness from like Summer Wells, but I watched that from the distance and stuff. This is up close, personal. It's just it's relentless insanity. You know, and I gotta be honest, I think that's why. I mean, remember six months ago <clears throat> when you messaged me, I didn't even know if everybody knew. I I Zanny Zanarita who started Delphi Docs. She was like doxxed very hard, like maybe two, almost two years ago. She was the creator of Delphi Docs. She personally messaged me, wanted me to be a moderator on Delphi Docs. I, I was the law enforcement, you know, anybody from law enforcement wanted to be certified. I checked her credentials, blah, blah. She had to go into hiding. And now you have a guy from Britain and somebody else that took it over. They got banned. Listen to this. They got banned. I, I, I don't care. I'll throw I could care less. They got banned for going on Libby and Abby's, the Delphi docs, the Libby and Abby's subreddit. And they got caught like uh, ban evasion. You know what that is? Like you have oh, a yeah, secondary yeah. account. So they got suspended, right? And somebody attached me, sent me a message. Hey, two of your moderators, two of the moderators got banned. So I wrote under somebody like posted it in the Delphi docs. So I wrote under it news to me. Nobody emailed me. Right. Meaning like they didn't email me. Right. Dude, they got their accounts back and they, they banned me from Delphi docs. Cause I questioned what they were doing is wrong. What are you, you're, you're using a different account. I mean, that's how crazy this case is that they're going on another subreddit and like fighting with moderator. What are we doing? I'll be 45 years old this week. No <laughs> time for it, man. No time. Right. So, I got into a battle with uh, that Dicky guy who's like from Br he's from Britain. What is he even doing being a I mean, I know he he's like the comedic person, so Zanny liked him, but she's in hiding. I mean, I, I've tried contacting her, check on her and stuff. 
I get it, man. This this case brings out wackos. They were doxing her and stuff. No good. Yeah. No good. You know. Yeah, I, so I um, there's some of the Reddit stuff. You know, because I mean, it's it's gotten really divisive over there too. Yeah, I I just yeah. like Delphi docs because back then yeah. it was about the documents and and what was really going on. There there wasn't much controversy until she left. And then you had, you know, one of the, the female and uh, the dicky guy take over. And um, I, I messaged him, like, what are, you, what are you taking my moderator away for? I'm like, you're the, guilt, you're the guilty one here. You're guilty. Right. You're guilty. You got busted. Like, you're, like, in your 50s. You got busted on another subreddit. Grow up. Yeah, I like, um, I, I mean, I, I've always liked Libby and Abby if I, you know, wanted to, like, look for some information or something. Yeah, the info's yeah, there. trial's not bad. Listen, I never, I never really used Reddit until she contacted me, and this is like three, three and a half years ago, you know. So I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll help you. I don't mind helping you out. Like I'd, I'd like to have somebody retired from law enforcement that could handle this because she was getting messages and people were leery to send their documents over to verify who they are." Right. I'm like, "Yeah, I don't mind doing that." But then you got now, now it's like a free for all, you know, free for all, total, total free for all. Alexa, this case, uh, it's always been crazy. It's just, it's gotten worse. Yeah, it's successful. It's, it's bad. I mean, they, imagine they banned me for just questioning what they did wrong. I mean, what, what are you doing? You're, why are you even on a different subreddit fighting with the, an admin, a moderator? I mean, this is, this is childish shit. This is stuff you do as a teenager. It's still going on in their 40s, 50s. Some might be in their 60s. What are you doing? You got nothing better to do? creating alt accounts and then, you know, responding on their own messages and their own posts and upvoting themselves. And like, yeah. You know, like, oh yeah. Oh, it's insane. I, I also liked it for the red talk lives. I was able to do, but I made my own, uh, I just said today and I'm going to give it out later, made my own Delphi, um, Reddit just so if anybody wants to talk on it, put anything they want on there, just to have a one that's legit, you know, have one that, uh, is ran by somebody who's not, you know, part of the insanity. You know, and I, I've seen there's there's channels. I'm not gonna name it. There's channels that are so pro defense and like. Listen, I got to be honest. <laughs> my my whole take on it still is that there's there's you know he's not. I don't feel he was by himself. I don't. Really. And the and the, and the charge that they added back on that was in, that was on in October of 2022, that they added on on the 18th is telling. You know, murder by kidnapping. What does that tell you? They, there's. There, there's a hole. There's a hole they're trying to fill, that they don't either. They don't have the answer, or they don't have enough. There, there's more. Super chat from Miss Dog Lover. How do I? Um, where is that? I'm trying to find it to post. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy birthday. Ah, yeah, forty-five. Getting up there. Fig Salves. Fig, what are you doing, man? Hope all is well on your end, dude. I know you're taking a beating from from these wackos everywhere, you know. These wacky people everywhere, dude. Oh, look, he got keep his name dodging out. bullets. Keep dodging bullets. That's all we could do. I know I'm gonna have some bullets shot at me today. They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. Let them come. Let's go. I'm tired of the insanity. Hey, true crime fangirl. 102 people. Listen, that's not bad for a first live back. Happy yeah. early here. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Oh, Reddit's on another level. Kristen, I'm not kidding. I, 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 I questioned why too. My, the one of the only, you know, there was only a couple. You know, there was like, I think there was like four or five of us left. And after that incident, now there's only two. You know, it's being run by, uh, by insanity. You know, we, 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 Zanny was great. I mean, I don't know how people felt about it. She was great. She was legit. She was, you know, good to me. Always contacting me with stuff and asking for help. Once she went into hiding, the that guy Dicky has like he has all the owner rights. You know, I had everything. I had the email password. I had every password under the sun because I was helping her do everything. And all right. of a sudden, you just take it away from get the hell out of here, you whack jobs, wackos. It's everywhere. In my eyes, it's becoming anti-social media, but all this it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Hey, Lana. Trying to catch up. Mustang, new member. Yeah, I, I set up memberships. We're going to do some nice. fun stuff. I got time now. Nice. 
Yeah, I tell you what a tough loss that was for my daughter's basketball team. It's brutal. Sorry. It's brutal. Oh, those poor girls, man. They were crying. I felt it, man. I, I it was tough. There's just it got too big. There was a lot of people there. Were there? And and the way it's set up in the county building is that like you're on the court, but everybody's above you, like like you're in a dome in a sense. Oh, nice. So yeah, how, it was, how, how it, was, it she was a twelve, sixth oh, grade. Gosh. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's driving me nuts. You know, she's so busy. You know, Friday nights, ice skating. I'm driving seven kids. I'm like, anybody else want to help out here? I'll drive. Want to do a pickup? I got to drive seven kids home. Like, am I the bus? You know? Who's pulling your strings? I know. Everyone at TCC would read the book. Who's pulling your strings? Interesting. Interesting. So what What else is going on with you? What are you doing? Are you still d digging deep into um, Delphi? Yeah. I, I mean, whatever, whatever there is to dig, I guess, you know? I mean, I think yeah. I, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to just getting to the trial, um, yeah. leaving all the, you know, these side, you know, the side drama and stuff behind with people, and uh, yeah. and really just see what happens. True. What is this unit, please? Who's asking for me? I think we got, we've got 41 days, I think, until jury selection starts. And, that you know, that's if there aren't any delays. But For what? For for the trial, you mean? May yeah, 13th, for, right? for the 13th, yeah. Yeah, but, but when's jury selection? Is it, it's not it's before the 13th, right? Or is yeah, it the 13th? It, it starts on the 13th. Um, I think it's expected to last three days. And then um, opening statements, so I think maybe that Friday. If everything goes as scheduled. Yeah. I mean, I got to be honest. It's tough that they're going six days. Yeah. yeah. You're pretty intense. I mean, I don't know why she just doesn't want to add another week to it. I, I mean, I, I get it that it's taken up everything, but just to go, just to go six days is, is tough. I mean, if you got a juror that's got, you know, back issues, knee issue, any kind of, that's going to, I mean, they canvas what, 600 people? Yeah. they still not Which to me seems people. low. It seems a little low. You know, for the you know, for what the crime is you're looking at, you know, yeah. I feel like half of them are going to be bounced from the from the jumps, and now you're down to 300. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, I just don't and know then, how how populated it is. And then not only that, I mean, we're also talking about sequestration. So you know, these people mm -hmm. are going to have to, you know, they're going to they're going to you know end up in a hotel for that entire time. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot. That's it's a lot. That's a lot. I just think adding the extra week, taking the Saturdays away, it just seems it seems tough. You know, it seems tough. Seems very tough. Ever looked, um, she runs a really busy um, court. Um, no, I, know, I know she does. I know. So, I mean, I, 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 I know for her personal scheduling, it's going to back up her court. But you know, she's a special she's a special judge on the case. It's kind of like I don't know. I just think I just think six days is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. I, oh yeah! By the end of week one, there'll be fi um, trial fatigue for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough. It's like, listen, at the end of the day, this is a big case. You want them, you want them to seize their. What's my thoughts on Judge Gull? Uh, you know, I don't know. Is she fair? I don't know. You know, is 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 there a angle to things? I don't know. You know, it's uh, listen, she's not for bullshit. Let's put it that way. She's not for bullshit, and you know. Some things the defense did even before the gag order, you know, just putting out the Odin stuff. Yeah, you know, that's just to her, that's just throwing stuff out there. Hennessy said they found a bullet casing. Well, of course they're gonna find a bullet casing that, that matches the bullet at the crime scene, you know. I gotta be honest, I, I said it well, I don't know, should I say it again? That the the bullet is why I took a break. I gotta be honest. I was messaged about it. I'm not going to get into who messaged me, but I was messaged about it. It wasn't like a content creator; it was somebody else. And I was it, just was it Nick McClellan? No, I, it was not Nick McClellan. I don't. I've never spoken to the prosecutor on this case. Do not even put that out there because it did not happen. But it's just you know, I I had to really think about things, and I'm like, yeah, you know, not worth it. Me, you know, putting stuff out there that could, you know could taint the jury pool in a sense if it, you know tough so it's tough but uh well i mean that, that, 
I'll, t- I'll, I'll say it this way. The bullet is not going to decide this case. It's not. Right. Just not. That's It's not. You know? Not on its own, no. No. Not on its own. No way. Jury selection is always close to the public. You can't no you can't watch that. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, gonna, that's, that's uh, gonna be in Allen County, and then they're gonna move. You know, once they, they, and then they're going to Delphi. Once they said, so you're crazy. moving, you're moving the juries, you're moving the jurors from Allen County. They have to stay in Delphi in the hotels for three and a half weeks. You know, it's, it's just. Hotel that they put all of the content creators that come into sound. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, they're gonna be outside. They're gonna be out, the whole thing is they gotta try and keep it. And see, you, you got wacky um, people surrounding this case. Yeah. You know, you can, and limited you can hotels. never know. Who and limited hotels. I mean, there's not like yeah, it's not like there's a vast um, you know majority. Yeah, of this is, yeah, it's not, it's not it's not it's not a travel it's not a, a travel location where people are traveling to. It's not you know you're not having ten holes there. It, it is limited. It is. It's gonna be limited. And then not to mention all the court personnel oh, in that. Ford as well. You know, the, I mean, um, Bradley Rosie and um, Andrew Baldwin, you know, every, you know, goal, all of her staff, they're all going to be staying somewhere. Yeah, it's a lot. This is, you know, listen, it, it's special circumstances because of this case. You, you, you don't want to do anything that's going to give a, you know, a strong appeal. Let's be honest. That, that's, sure that's, that's the problem. You know, that's the problem. Yeah, Bossy, I understand doing six days a week for the amount of information, but it's also, you're going to wear these jurors out, you know? Six six days, eight hours a day, it's 48 hours. You know, that's longer than their work week, you know? And you're, you're asking them to do that for 80 and $90 a day, you know? And you got to keep them awake. You got to keep them awake. And, in, and sadly, in this, in this case... Who knows what nonsense will go on outside the courthouse or in the courtroom itself that, you know, is going to be such an embarrassment, um, but that could even cause a trial delay. I mean, we're literally mm. looking at, you know, individuals that insert themselves in this case that want to cause tr- a trial delay. Yeah. For what, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uh, this just this, you know, I, I've, I've never seen what we're seeing before. Never. I don't. I don't think anybody has. It, it, this is. It's toxic. It's right. all around toxic, and, and it could, you know, it could wear people down. You know, right. it could wear Those people down. Families don't deserve anything. No, anything no, no. And they're they're taking a beating. You know, didn't that guy send the pictures to Becky Patty? Yeah. Unfiltered. I that I don't know. I, I'm sure they were. This guy's you know, and I, I, his YouTube guy got striked. Right, he's gone. Because somebody, um, somebody, in the, somebody in the chat said that he has a backup already. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't follow him. I don't subscribe to him. Captain Howdy, I hope all is well, buddy. I haven't, hey, haven't uh, seen you in a while. But, yeah, it's, uh, you know, toxic stuff. Oh, my people run with that rumor and write that. <laughs> Talk about me. That's funny. What are you, uh, so, um, CD, what are, your, um, what are your thoughts on the camera, cameras in the courtroom? There should be cameras in the courtroom. Yeah, I agree. There should be. What are we hiding? You know, well, what's, what's the what's the difference? What's the, what's the difference if you have reporters in there taking notes and then they have to go outside to? It should be live. Well, why, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be live streamed? Right. Listen, you don't have to. You just just one camera view. You don't have to zoom in. That that's the whole thing. Like oh, we don't want to get his reaction. Fine. Right. Just right. the courtroom and, and and audio. That's all. Right. Go the judge um, judge judge route in um, Idaho. You know who start who has a YouTube channel for the court and they do one. It's you know one picture, and yeah. it's just of the of the, um, of the um, you know of the courtroom without seeing the jury, of course. Yeah, but that that's what it that, that there's no reason it shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't. It, what are you hiding? What, what they're going to hear it anyway. Right. You know. I mean, Why I get not both sides put it out there? Book. Yeah, it's it's wacky. Um, Shell, what do you think about the three phones of the crime scene as for geofencing? Who do you think it is? Um, yeah, I, I went over all the geofencing stuff even before they talked about that. Um, listen, my my whole thing with it is geofencing isn't exact. How big is the bubble? You know, it, it's not a hundred percent. Those things could be. You know, a, you know, 
a big, big, big circumference around. You know, it doesn't mean they're directly in the middle of that spot. That's why I went when I went through all the Ron Logan stuff on that Red Talk Live that's on my channel. They're trying to put them at the crime scene, but at the bridge at the same time. It's right. bad shit. That's bad shit. It's absolute bad shit. Correct me if I'm wrong, CD, but um, with geofencing, um, it's less reliable, especially in a wooded area, right? It depends on it depends on the service. I don't. I mean, I've heard Delphi service is terrible. You know, so that could make it even larger. You know what I'm saying? That that's the whole thing is it, you you got to see it to know it. You know, you got to you got to see what the size is and everything. But you know, I, I just think there's 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 still more to come. There just is. You know, it, well, think about it this way, right? So he tried to put the kidnapping charges on. You can't. It's over the five years. Right. But he went back to the original charges of you know murder by basically basically it's murder by kidnapping. Right. You know, so with you, the additional you know, murder charges. Yeah, well, they, but they were they were basically they took that off in the beginning and put the regular murder charges on, not regular, but murder charges. And now March 18th, they added those two back on, right. which is telling that that's telling what you know what I'm saying. It's like if you have the smoking gun, you got it all. There's no reason to add those two on. There's no there's no reason. So that's just, you know. Again, they've done this from the beginning where they, they just leave the door open. Um, for five hours prior to an arrest, at least they have the fingerprints DNA. What, Bossy, what do, what, do, what, do, what do you mean? I, be, I believe that um, there is DNA, but um, is it uh, Rick Dickey Allen's? That's the question. That is the question. Well, she has to be done with the BS. But the, the whole thing is, Kristen, you, you want to make you, you can't make it look one sided. That that as a judge, you have to be fair and partial. So you can't make it look like you're just weighted against the defense. It's, it's tough. Yeah, that that's the problem. Is is you're putting you're putting the jurors right by the you know Delphi courthouse, and look at what you're seeing. You know, yeah. I'm not even going to name. The, everybody knows the names of who who would be standing out there. Everybody knows. There's it's, a select few that would be out there. It's been one of my biggest fears for a while now. Um, is that I really you know as things started to intensify with the um, the vitriol in this whole in the Delphi community that um that people were going to try to to seek out and target. To, um, to mess with the jury. Um, so, I mean, as much as it sucks for a jury, I'm glad they're sequestered. And um, yeah, well, hope, listen, they have to be. Yeah, and I they hope have, there's nothing you could do. I mean, they have to. They have to have top-notch security as far as people not trying to get in to, um, you know, sway them in in one way or another. Yeah, I don't put anything past people in this case. You can't. No, you can't. Look at what happened. I mean, look at what happened. It, it, supposedly, it started in the hallway of the courthouse. And then you saw it from that aerial shot of Rick Snay basically clenching both fists, about to rage, beat the shit out of that guy. What's his name? Noe? What's his name? Yeah. Is it Noe? Yeah. Who is he? He's a YouTuber? Um, yeah, he's a, a musician. You remember, he was Keegan Klein's um, soulmate. Oh, that's him? From. Yeah, that's what all right. Saying. So that 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 there we uh, that makes sense. All right, so that ma that makes sense of why they have animosity. Yeah. Also, because Rick supposedly you know talks to the father, and now you have this one that you know was uh, uh, yeah. bananas, banana heads. Very simple. They're banana heads. <laughs> they are banana heads. No, thank you. But the problem is, you all watch them, so blame yourselves. I'm kidding, but you know. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, well, there you go. He claimed he shared the crime scene photos so that he'd beat Crime Night to the punch. Two great guys. Let me tell you. Great A people. Great A. Well, Chris, it's not about hiding anything. It's just, it's 2024. There's no reason that the cameras shouldn't be there. I agree. And it, yeah, I'm. I'm just saying, just a, you know, just a select image, you know, view of the courtroom, not moving cameras around, 
just view the courtroom and audio so everybody could hear. This and case unless, is international. It's been international since 2017. Yeah. You know, unless I'm. It, it'll also help keeping some wackos away from the courthouse. You know, because yeah. they want to be the so first far, to hear what's going on. She's denied uh, media requests for cameras so far, but um, I don't. I don't believe she's made any um, any decision on, or at least public publicly, um, on possibly having a court stream. Though, wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be the same thing if she's got a court stream that they could attach to? Um, well, I mean, like, you know, like, like they're doing in Idaho where, you know, he, like, he control it. No one can tap into it. It's just, if you want to watch it, it's on the court's YouTube channel. Um, so, I mean, they could still do something like that. She's the only, they should. That request. they should, there's, n there's no reason not to have this, 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 you know, live streamed if they want to do it on their own, uh, whatever. Just, well, I mean, you, you can know. go to the Indiana, um, you can go to the Indiana um, court website and go and find different counties that have live streams happening, you know, yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. This is the biggest case probably ever in Indiana's history because of just mm -hmm. just the insanity surrounding with, with you know, so just, uh, some serious whack jobs. Oh, I know I'm going to be on somebody's live stream tonight getting bashed. Who the fuck is CD? <laughs> Whatever. Happy Tuesday, you know? You don't be too away from the show. Yeah, Kristen, that, the, you know, I, I've said it since I first came on here. The, pr the problem is that people watch them. And, and when you're watching just insanity, you're, you're feeding egos. And you know that. It's just, absolutely. you know, this is, the, you know, I've never seen a guy laugh at himself so much. Never. N never in my life. I mean, you're not that, nobody's, nobody's that funny. You know what I'm you saying? Remember, um, I mean, it, is, it, it happens in every case. Um, Delphi is an exception, definitely. But um, do you remember with Kylie Rodney case? There was that uh, musician, that you, that YouTuber Ryan Shirt Upchurch or something. I think his name oh, was. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He just this week, I guess, like, maybe his views are going down because just this week he's still peddling Kylie Rodney conspiracy theories. That yeah, he's trying, yeah. I, I, know, I think it was, I think it was about a month ago. Someone sent it to me that he basically said that Kylie, Kylie Rodney didn't exist. Like yeah. she wasn't like, like she wasn't even born. Just move the whole uh, yeah. list, you know. I don't, I don't I don't even I don't even know what well, listen that's, I, I, that's happened in Delphi. But, you know, B, now BG doesn't exist. He's not yeah. real. You know, well that's the, well, you, you I, I talked about this a year ago. That was that clutch guy, the, the trucker. He started that whole shit and I went at him for it because you know what? That's bullshit. He tried to take away, you know, the bravery of Libby filming her eventual killer, you know, right. or you know, it, it insanity. In, that's that's the problem. If you watch insanity, you know you're, you're feeding the dog. Well, even even um, more to what I would have thought were common sense um, creators. I'm even hearing more and more people go back to this. You know, well, we don't know the time of death. You know, so no one can no one can be certain when the girls were there or if they were brought back. And I'm like, and it's like this. I don't know. It's it's the same thing with you have people saying that they they weren't killed at the crime scene. Right. That they were killed in a barn and brought there. That's they still going both, on. They were both taken away from the scene, brought back apparently at some point in the evening when there were only like two hours that night where people weren't searching. Um, because, because that comes down to the guy who had the drone that had the FLIR camera. But people are forgetting that the water was freezing cold and they were probably wet. So what happens? Your body temperature drops faster. It's very simple. You know, it's not a conspiracy. It's very simple. Yeah. If law enforcement is saying there was excessive blood there and that's where they were murdered, that's where they were murdered. Right. That's where it and happened. Even though there's not excessive blood in the spot that they were found, that doesn't mean that 10 feet off there wasn't. We don't that's know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And people it's, people it's, try to create a full picture, a full answer. When we, we don't have all the, all, all the pieces you need even. I mean, no. so like for anyone to go say they think Richard Allen is 100% guilty or 100% innocent, I think is, um, I, don't, I, I don't think that's responsible to do um, because we don't have all the information. Yeah, no, it's true. It's very true. It's very true, but that's- I mean, We can have our personal opinions, of course, but- <laughs> Yeah, but I just find it, I just find it absolutely ridiculous that that's even being peddled still. You know, it's just, there's people that just want to divide and, you know, keep controversy going. Right, and people want to be right. They, yeah. they want to be right more than they care about the truth. Yeah, it's true. You know, listen, it's like, it's like being a cop and detective. You have to evolve. You could be going in one direction. And if the evidence is taking you here, you better move your ass into this lane. 
right? Because you're not going to be a, you're not going to be a detective for very long. When law okay? enforcement was focused on Anthony Schatz and all of that, we all you know looked in you know we all um, went down that that road. And you know yep. once once there was an arrest that didn't involve them, you know, granted I kept my mind open for other things, but um, you know you have to follow the evidence. Yeah, got to follow the evidence like anything else. With anything in life, if you don't if you if you refuse to change your mind on something. Oh, I mean, good luck. <laughs> hey, Anna. That's exactly what I was alluding to. I just didn't say it. Close your curtain, Adam. <laughs> the, the glare is making my brain hurt. Oh, boy. I did it just for her. No, it's still open. No, I meant... No, I, I meant oh, oh, I got you. I got you. Started inside the courtroom with Rick. Yeah, Rand oh, Randy, were you there? I believe you were there, right? You're always, uh, you're always in the house. Yeah, I mean, Randy, it, it's, it's just a shame. You know, it, it really is. It's a shame. It, it, it does no service to the families or the girls. It's nothing should be made about yourself when it comes to this case. Nothing. It's just that's what you're dealing with. The DNA, Toby he says it isn't. Well, yeah, you got to remember that Tobe, he talks in a lot of riddles. He always did. They, they all do. No problem, bossy. I'm glad you were hanging for a bit. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that it was a full-on fist fight. It was close, though. It was close. If you if you watch Rick's hands, let me tell you something. When when somebody's aggressive towards you, don't don't you don't don't watch their face. Watch their hands. Hands and feet is what can hurt you. You know, if you if you're looking at them, that's how you get blindsided and knocked out. Always watch somebody's hands. David Noe Ramos. Yeah, no, now now I know who he is. I just uh, just by Noe, I had no idea who he was. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't uh, <laughs> there you go. It just didn't. It didn't really hit with me. I wasn't. Really, I wasn't really digging that deep either. Just uh, banana heads everywhere. I was sitting next to him. Okay, so you were there. You're right there while it was all going on. Yeah, it's just um, it's a shame. Oh, uh, Cole, uh, Mel, definitely. D that's the problem. You're, you're gonna have you're gonna have insanity even outside the hotel. That that's you know they're, they're gonna have to have they're gonna have to have extensive security there. And I'm not talking about private security. They have to have law enforcement. The you know whatever floor they're on will be locked down. The outside will be locked down. It'll be it'll be a secure facility. It has to be. It has yeah. to be. You know, I mean, they, they, they might close the whole place if it's a smaller hotel. They might close the whole thing. I think they'll really have to limit their, um, you know, internet accessibility as well. Usually, so, I don't. I don't think they'll have any family members. Yeah, I don't, don't think they're gonna have any. Possible. Yeah, I, I think they'll have minimal. You know, just a phone call to the. You know, if they have young kids, just maybe a phone call. You know, I, I do not have an access to the internet with, with with this shit. No way. I hope the court. I mean, I hope the court really. I'm sure they do, but I hope they have a real a real grasp on. Um, on 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 that aspect of it, maybe I should yeah. write him a letter. <laughs> yeah, my, I mean, yeah, every, everybody seems to be writing letters these days. Just you know, here's my two cents. I I hope you read it. If you don't, I understand. I mean, what are we doing? Noe has said vile things about Rick's wife. Listen, I get it. You know, nobody should be talking about somebody's wife. Nobody should talk about any of these family members. I get it. It's just not the time or place. It's not. Argue about it on YouTube. You know. Have a live together and just curse each other out and make the people that like watching get happy. Just do that. Just at the courthouse is not the time or place. Or if you're going to put yourself out in a public, you know, on a public public platform, have a little bit of a thicker skin. You know, you put yourself out there and expect everyone to love you. Yeah. Um, Plenty of people don't like me. <laughs> whatever, right? I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming. I, I I hope it'll be streamed. It it really should. I, I don't see why it shouldn't. You know, it, it doesn't it, it it doesn't affect the case having it ha having it live streamed. Doesn't. If that's how they want to do it, they want to have it on just the court channel. Fine. If no anything, problem. I think it lessens the. Um, I think there'll be people that would probably make the trip to Delphi. That's um, what I'm saying. It cuts down on the insanity of like I gotta be there. I need to be in the courtroom. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of people traveling there. And that's all you need is some wacky outburst inside the courtroom, like from one of these nuts. It's just, I don't know. I agree, Radar. What did Radar say? 
Um, just that, you know, that they, you know, they've asked for the public self since day one, so let them into the courtroom. Yeah. And again, Kristen, I, I get it, but I get both. A, a, a grand, if you're talking about a grand jury where you're indicting somebody, that's that's not live stream. That's just, that's in secret. That's totally different than a trial. This is a trial. There's there's no reason that the camera shouldn't be on. There's no reason. There's there's zero reason. It, it cuts down on the insanity, the conspiracy theories, and everything else in between. There's nothing wrong with ha having cameras on. Hey, Fossey. Well, I'll see, Chris. Some of us had to choose, but to watch them because of their constant boxing harassment. No good deed goes unpunished. <clears throat> In the world, is he still around? This clutch guy? I don't know. I, I've never, I've never watched him. I, I was, I was sent this video that time when he was basically saying that the video of um, uh, BG was a deep fake. What he called yeah. it, and he basically said that they weren't there that day. They were there. It really happened the day before, maybe or maybe Friday. Like what? Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. What are your thoughts on Click testifying? His concerns being that he's prior ally. I don't. Well, I don't see anything wrong with him testifying. He has. He has an. He. He has an opinion. He got. The, he's the one that got the device, right? That has the, that device. The phone that has that uh, that Odin stuff. Oh, the the, um, the Goldilocks phone. Yeah. I, I don't see anything wrong with him. Do you see anything wrong with him testifying? I don't. I don't see no. anything wrong with him. No. I mean, I think that people, um, I think people over exaggerate the importance of, um, of his testimony and, you know, that's, but that's from my own personal belief. I feel like, yeah. uh, I feel like that a lot of law enforcement um, agencies participated in assisting, especially in the, in the beginning. Yeah. Of the in, the be in the beginning, they had, they had, they had a ton of law enforcement and, from, you know, from they outside they agencies. All, they were all given different avenues to go down and different um, paths to follow. Um, I mean, this guy's a Rushville police officer, um, and he, he doesn't have any personal connection with anyone, you know, any defining brand. Um, so the fact that they didn't take him as seriously as maybe they, um, he thinks they should have. Um, I, I think all of the, I think any um, officer that was going down a different path might have thought their, you know, the, the way they were going was just as important. Well, look, I mean, look, look with the, uh, even with the FBI, I feel that they got, they got pushed aside too. You know, the whole, I mean, they were stuck on Ron Logan. They were, they, that's, that's where they were. They didn't come off Ron Logan. You have Cole and Daphne are still talking. I mean, even the day Richard Allen was arrested, she was still saying the FBI suspect it's Richard Allen. And I have a problem with that because what does she know personally about the case being from the FBI? Right. You know, well, if you look was, at her the friend, was her friend on the case? Well, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, she should be talking about every case, fine. But a case that the FBI was involved in that is still ongoing, an arrest was made, shouldn't be talking about it. Yeah. Um, when I look at, you know, like the, you know, the, the um, the Vinlander um, you know kind of theory. I mean, just looking at the timeline alone of events, um, to me, show how easily they they um, they didn't take it as seriously because they went to, they went the Ron Logan route. It was March sixth is when they did the first search warrant at, at Ron Logan's house, um, and you know so I think you know they very well may have looked more into the Vinlander thing, but I think the they went the Ron Logan route, and I think that yeah. took them through the spring of twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, I, I think it actually took them twenty months. Yeah. I, I think it went on for twenty months. You know, and um, listen, they they searched that entire property high and low. They they went through the entire house. If there was anything, they would have had it. They had multiple dogs there. You know, they had and nothing. Right. And I think let it's them, totally let them, I'm not, and I'm not saying the guy was the greatest guy, but right, let him rest in peace. He's you know, that route. I mean, the defense easily could have just said, "Thanks, Mr. Oliver." Hey, Ron Logan did it, but I think you know they know that you know. I think that there's you know a conclusive um, reason that they know they can't that he didn't do it. Yeah. So I think yeah. they picked the one um, investigative lead that didn't have um, didn't get wrapped up. Yeah. Rumors by one shady group saying that. Yeah, I know. With the canoe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's CJK. It's 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 nothing more than controversy and insanity. It really is. You know, it really is. Tom Webster. What's hey, up, Tom. man? 
how did we organize the evidence you and other LE collected? Um, to, th to, to be not as insane as a row, basically you have a crime scene that's locked down, right? After a crime's committed, crime scene is, you have your crime scene uh, taped off. One, one detective is going to uh, monitor everybody who comes in and out of the crime scene and documenting the time they entered, time they left. Then you're going to have certain officers, you know, certain detectives collecting the evidence and bagging it right there and sealing it right there. And you're going to have a log and you're going to log it all. Uh, it, it, but then it's going to go, you know, into the, into the uh, station and it's going to be put into evidence. And then it's going to, you know, a case like this, the prosecutor is going to be on hand when everything comes back, you know, it, just to give you a easier answer, they're going totally in, in, in depth. But also, I'm sure that they uh, filmed um, the crime scene and taken all the evidence. You know, what you usually, NYPD, you have um, just a separate division that would be there on scene and, you know, film of the crime scene. But it, it, everything, you, ha you have to do it to a T. You, you documented, you know, who did what, you know, and and basically, you don't want any. I know that there were initial officers that were on the scene. They got to be put in too because you know their DNA could be there, whatnot. But it's a select few who's going to enter that crime scene once it's flagged off. It's not. It's not going to be you know just anybody coming in and out. You you also have the problem that there were there were volunteers that were um, that were uh, there when they were found. Right. You know. It, at the end of the day, this crime scene isn't the ideal atmosphere of, of what you want. You know, it's not like in an apartment, you know, where it's closed off and, you know, this, you had people peeing out there. You, you had, you had so much going on, cigarette butts, you know, what, drinks. What it is. I mean, you know, I mean, they've got the, you know, they've got the immediate area where the, where the um, bodies were found. But I mean, Doug Carter himself has always said that the crime scene starts at the end of that bridge. Of course, and, it does. And it that's, that's where they were. That that's that's where they were kidnapped. That's where they were abducted. Right. They were abducted at the end of the bridge. That's where the, the crime scene goes from there. Trail, you know, down the hill, you know, all the way to where they're murdered, you know, and also and also the exit, you know, of suspect suspects, you know, it, it, it's this is this is uh, this is it's a it's a it's a large crime scene, large. And you had a lot of people out there. <laughs> we have not seen, of course, we, they're not going to give us all the evidence. That, that's, you know, it's all going to come up. That's the whole thing. Live stream the case, you know? So it's not, so you don't have to have uh, a reporter going out on a break to, to tweet everything X, on X and, and, and get everything out there without making, you know, without missing something. There's no reason it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be live streamed. Or you could just not even look at the evidence and just delete it with no record of whom was in. Uh, well, that's, I mean, that's, I gotta be honest, that's a problem to, to lose that much. And it doesn't make sense on how you don't have a record of who you're interviewed. That's, that doesn't make any sense because it should be a log, you know, right outside, right outside your interview rooms. You should have a separate, you know, office area, whatever, where like we had, we had our interrogation rooms and then outside we had, we had like, I would call it a walk-in closet in, in a sense. It was narrow, but we had all our monitors there and we had a log of who was being interviewed at what time, what time it started, what time it ended. And we would dual record it. It was recorded twice so that in case something happened with one, you would have backup. How this, I mean, th during this case, you're doing a, a, you know, record and upload to a cloud. Come on. And how, how do you not have record of everybody you interview? That's that, it. Just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But that's that's the problem with a very small department having a case like this. Mistakes were made. You know that's tough. That's very tough. That's why it's very it's very hard to keep up with chat. I'm trying, but it's well, very hard. I mean, I've I've not even had chat open. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone. You know, I mean, I feel like there. You know, were mistakes made throughout this investigation, um, some much bigger than others. Yeah. Um, but I mean, did the, did, how did the mistakes that were made, did they, um, 
did they have any effect on the fact that they may have eventually got may have eventually got the right guy? That's up for the you know courts. It's unknown. Day. It's unknown. But the whole the whole is remember you remember you had uh, Carter saying we may have interviewed you. Was that a question? Did you, you, know, you think about no. it now, though? Like you're like shit. Was that is he asking a question? Like we may have interviewed you. What the you know what I'm saying? What the hell happened? Right. How did this happen? How did all of this get just you know gone? I mean, I get it. I get it that there was an uploading mistake. I understand it. whatever it is, upload mistake or deleted whatever. I get that. But it shouldn't have happened. You should have been recording on scene on a VHS tape. They work. My they understanding work. is that that system was installed. Um, it, it was in no way um, ever designed to be um, something law enforcement would use. They, they, you know, they to save money, they they went the route they did with their recording devices, and it's the same system they use in the Carroll County Jail, apparently. Um, yeah, I mean, even if you're, even if you say you had a hard drive on, uh, you know, on location at the police station, mm -hmm. you'd need this. You, there's no reason not to have a secondary. You know, it's, this is it's just asinine to have this happen. What I was told, what I was you told know? by someone a long time ago was that um, the way that they 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 installed that camera system and bought that camera system um, and recording system, um, the same way that Carroll County does everything half-assed and on a budget. <laughs> So those aren't yeah, it's um, it, it, it's just it, it, it's it's just when you think about how crazy it is, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't it, it doesn't. I get I get it. This was a big case that they they weren't ready for. I understand that. So you ask for help. You know, you, you had you had state police and, and the FBI there. You had all these other agencies that could assist. You know, what do you need? You need you need our D, we have an extra DVR, whatever it takes to get it right. You know what I'm saying? It's just well, and then to hear like you know, I mean, I didn't realize that um, like the FBI apparently doesn't normally record their interviews. You know, they so they do rely more on their notes. That was said in one of the court or in the um, the transcript from the hearing on the 18th. Um, yeah, and I know law enforcement that you know they solved cases for you know years and years and years before you know even before recording devices were even an option. But it's the fact that they were recorded and then lost or recorded over whatever. Um, you know, of course, it just makes people suspicious. It's, it's, I, I get the suspicion part. I just think it, it's just a massive mistake. Absolutely. But at the same time, it shouldn't have happened. And it's a disaster. It, it just makes it. It just makes them all look like idiots, like bumbling idiots. That's that's just what it looks like from the outside in. I mean, this would never happen with with, with the jobs I worked at. Never never had a problem like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just, this is crazy. Crazy. Well, you know, Delphi, Indiana, New York City, a little different. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And, and I, I totally get it. But at the same time, you had the state police there. You had the FBI there. The tips were going through the FBI. Hey, we got this new way of interviewing and interrogating. Do you think this will work? Or do you think we should have a secondary? Just a question. The problem is... The, he, Tobe didn't want to look like he didn't have the answers, that he didn't know what he was doing. So he didn't, you know, that's why, that's why the other, uh, the other uh, deputy and him had problems because he wanted, what's his name? The, the other, um, just Mike, one that Mike sued. Thompson. Mike, Mike Thompson. He had an opinion. And I gotta be honest, from outside looking in, he had, his opinion was not wanted. And that's why he was pushed aside. And he was like the second in command. But he had he he had a, he you know he wanted things done a certain way and that was not good enough and they that's the whole thing is like with, with sheriffs like I know pretty much everywhere sheriffs are you know it's politics and they're you know they, they, it's voted on and whatever else I, I I think it's just a bad way of doing things you should be promoted from within based on your your credentials and what you've done as a career. But it happens in every job. It doesn't matter how good you are. You could be the best cop and not get along with somebody. You don't get promoted. Right. That happens too. But there's, there's no perfect way. But running an election, you know, and, and I know it's, it's just the way it is, but it just doesn't work. It, it, it's, in my opinion, it doesn't work because it doesn't matter what you did as, as a deputy. You could still be the sheriff if you're a load, you know. Why would it take three or four weeks to search Logan's house after two kids are found murdered on his property? I don't. I don't think it took three or four weeks. They, weren't they at? A, weren't they at his house? 
They went March. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that, 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 yeah, March, yeah. But wasn't that, wasn't that the secondary one? The first one was March sixth. Then the second one was, um, was it March seventeenth? I, I, March seventeenth. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's the deep one. I, Tom, I mean, I, I, I don't really have a great answer for that. It, it could be down to, you know, who was in charge. You know, well, when was, when was the one at? Uh, the white, the little White House. What's what's their names? Uh, that was the fifteenth, fifteenth or sixteenth, I believe. Yeah, uh, bicycle. That was a, 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 a February. Yeah, was yeah, it was very close? Like two days after, right? Yeah, it was right yeah. after Jim Maxwell's house. Yeah, Maxwell's. That's right. Um, you know, so they so they were doing search warrants right after. I I don't know what the t- took them. Though. I guess the, I guess it more so was when Ron mm-hmm. Logan used the alibi and he got popped, mm-hmm. and that's why they pushed. That could be the reason. But and, and you know, Tom, you got to remember, it, it, as I just said, it's just, you know, you had somebody in charge that really wasn't looking to, you know, get opinions from others, I, right. just being honest. It, and then they did you know? the Keegan Klein one the 25th. So, I mean, right there yeah. in the first two weeks. Um, yeah. And, and there could be there could be other ones we, we do not know about. You yeah. know, that's the other thing. But I think I, Ron's really came from him, you know, with the with the alibi popping and everything else. Yeah. Which, which I, I got to be honest, and I'm not, and I'm not defending the guy. I just think that there could be more to that, you know, the alibi and the timing, and you know, everything else. I, you know, oh, hush your mouth, CD. It was not Ron Logan. <laughs> no, I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm not saying that. I've said that forever, but I'm just playing. The former chief deputy of Carroll County Sheriff's Office who later sued wasn't even privy to. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm talking about. Midnight. That's exactly what I'm. I'm I'm like 11 minutes behind in the chat, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's um, he had an opinion that they, they didn't want it. You know, he, he wanted to do certain things and that was just shut down. He was shut out. It was early without warrant because he was, a, no, yeah, there was an earlier one where I believe they were just looking at his firearms. Yeah. Because he, he was on probation. Yeah. So they could do it. And, yeah. yeah. And then the second one came, um, with everything, they. But that's you know, why when people made a big deal about, well, they didn't ask for, they didn't look for guns in the Ron Logan search warrant. I was like, that's because they did it on the sixth. <laughs> yeah, they already had them. No, they already had them. Yeah, they already took them out. Uh, I would have taken a canoe to hell and back. Yeah, listen, everybody would do. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's just horrible to even think about one of your family members going missing, and this is the outcome. It's horrible. And then, and then the thing this Chad has for, the best of it. Yeah, Outback, we keep it real here. What'd you say? I said, and um, and then to think what they've had to endure, you know. Yeah. I mean, imagine, imagine oh. what they have to think every day when they wake up. They're like, "What nonsense is going to happen today? What, what's what's coming today? Yeah, what you know? What's coming? To, who's gonna who's gonna message me today? You know what I'm saying? Like who's some some wacko from right a different right country right. messages you has the crime scene photos and just says, "Oh, here." I was going to talk about it, so I think you should have them. Is that is that what kind of what it what it was? When you when I mean, you have to be a sick individual to send those crime scene photos to the family members. That's just that's just wacky, man. But the whole thing is, he's outside the country. He knows nothing's going to happen to him, and he doesn't care. He doesn't care, right? Doesn't he live outside the country? Um, the, the um, art of direction. Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, they, just nothing's gonna happen to him, so he doesn't care. Tom, I'm far behind, man. I'm trying to catch up. We're chatting here. What, what do you want me to do? I, I don't want to skip ahead to get to the to get to where we are because I might miss a good comment here. Tom you know? Webster's like an hour behind in his comments. Yeah, I, I don't think Tom even looks at his comments. You know, he wants it all. He'll look down and be like, "Oh, Espen said hello." He doesn't. He's busy doing his present. Guy, that guy does a twelve-hour presentation. You know, I think he's working on it right now. He's got his secondary presentation on the side while he's listening. Probably. He, listen, Tom's very thorough. I like it. I like it. Yeah, most, most agencies have an IT, de- IT department. Yeah, and some, some agencies, their IT department is um, civilians, but they're, you know, they're a civilian employee of the department. This is, um, this is just batshit, you know? It, it's batshit. It really is. They weren't. They they weren't. We know they weren't. They, they, I don't even know if it was poor communication. I I think that Tobe in the beginning. I, I think in the beginning wasn't it said like to keep them out of here, right? I, was I I believe so. It was. It might have been said on the radio. 
to like keep them back for now. You know, I don't know. And I don't think that's to cover up anything. I think it's that, you know, he wanted to, you know, hold it. This is my case. You know, this is mine. Well, traditionally, you know, law, enforcement, in bags. law enforcement agencies are, um, you know, notorious for not wanting to play with each other. They don't. They don't. Listen, I was on a task force with the DEA and we had FBI and everything else and two federal agencies. I watched the clashing going on because I was good friends with one of the DEA, uh, the uh, senior guy. And um, I watched that. I'm like, you guys really don't get along. huh?" He goes, well, one of the guys I do, the rest of them are assholes. I'm like, I get it. You know, I get it. But feds are different, man. They just are. They're not. And I'm not saying it is a bad thing. They're not like me. They're not like Everybody I know, I mean, even the guys I'm friends with, they're a little quirky, man. They're different, you know, very different. But they have, but they have resources that are, you know, necessary. Oh, like yeah, this, yeah. You know, the Orion system, you know. The I mean, DEA, let me tell you something about the DEA operation. I won't go very in-depth in it. It is some of the coolest things I've ever seen, technology-wise. Um, awesome. I was in the you know, the city headquarters for a while doing uh, doing some cases with them, and uh it was, it was really very cool stuff. Just, you know, they have so much at their disposal. So much. It's just endless. But they just name they name their cases the weirdest things. <laughs> they use, like, movie titles and just, right. you know, oh, embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing, but a lot of fun. I had a great time. I really did. I had a great time with them, but um, just it's different. Why did it take so long to discover what LE department waits nine months to secure evidence? Which part? What are you talking about? AK, what, what are you t- which part are you talking about? Yeah. What? I didn't see anything above about it. So just uh, tell me down below and I'll get there. I'm going to try and skip ahead to get down. I'm seven minutes behind. Nine months to not only secure, but to review. That's bizarre. Nine months would be, well, like, um, that would be November. I'm trying to think what happened November of 2017. It's not coming to me. I mean, I think about the camera and the recordings. I don't know. We're going to find out below. Those. But that would, yeah, that would have been September. Hey, Rescue. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So it's true the defense is shady as hell. People are falling for open line sync. Well, we talk about this from the beginning. You know, they knew what they were doing. They knew a gag order was coming when they dropped that early bomb. They knew they they knew how to play the game. And it's just I talked about it when I first came on. It's I had it happen to me when I was when I was a rookie, and I took it to heart. Like I I was I, I was boiling over. I don't know if you heard it. I, I arrested a guy. And we, he went to trial. I had to go testify. And the way the defense, uh, the defense attorney basically tried to say, like, he was basically throwing my integrity out there. And, and that's what, just what they do. But at the same time, it was making me boil. I was, I was boiling over. I'm like, you're going to question my integrity. Your guy's a piece of shit, career, a career criminal. But they put out there whatever they can, and they just want to see what sticks. You know, if it sticks in one jury's one juror's mind, it's going to, you know, it's going to get them thinking and, and get it talked about. So that's just the way it goes. You know, it, it sucks. It looks like crap what they're doing, but they're doing just what defense does. It's just this is this is a case that's just publicly out there. Right. Hey, Ivy, I hope you're doing well. Hey, Ivy. And, you know, and just like, just like it's yeah. Bud Bundy. I haven't seen Bud Bundy's name in a long time. I'm back. Oh, wow. man. I'm back. Like Eminem says, I'm back, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it comes out like it totally messed up and following up on Rick after and beat him. Yeah, I mean, they messed up on a lot. They did, you know. And, and believe me, I, I tried to give law enforcement the uh, benefit of the doubt from the beginning, and it's just every time, it's just it's a letdown. It really is. It's just a letdown. But it doesn't mean yeah. they didn't get the right guy eventually, maybe. You know, you well, don't know. I said, but, it, but you know, even with all those mess ups, it doesn't mean that they didn't finally get no, it right. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. It, it's just that, you know, let's say he is the killer. You know, if they got him in 2017, it would have been a lot better than the end of exactly. 2022. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a long time frame. You know, if it was a serial killer, there could have been a lot of people going down in between. You know what I'm that's saying? So y- it's just, you know, how, how do you, how, it's just mistakes all around. That's what it is. Mistakes all around. I hate to say it, but that's just the facts. 
Did it, yep. Oh, flu. I hope uh, I hope uh, your granddaughter feels better. Flu sucks. We had the stomach virus here a couple of weeks ago, and it got me really bad. It was terrible. Yeah, I'm here. I'm standing. I'm I'm bouncing. I'm ready to go. Yeah, go. I think it was 600 jurors that uh, the questionnaires went out to. But the, my my problem with that is now you're going six days a week. Who's got you know you know a disability issue with their back, their knee, their hip, you know kids to take care of young little kid. There's a lot, there's a lot that could go into that. There really is. Yep. And then you also have, you know, it is. it's been kind of contentious between the sides. So, I mean, I can easily see the jury selection, you know, going down to some nitpicking between the prosecutor and the defense attorneys, you know, about yeah. who, who they get. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. I'm trying to see, I'm at the bottom here. But I, I didn't see another. Uh, I didn't see another answer come up. Uh, another question on that? Did you? No. About the nine months? I don't no, see I it. Don't. I still don't know. I don't either. I don't either. I do not either. I'm not sure. Do do do. Yes, yeah, six hundred. That's that's on that's on the jurors. And AB, I, I I hope it's streamed. It should be. And it, and I get it. If you don't want to give it to certain media outlets, fine, whatever. Just put it out there. Just put it out there. Check me. Sometimes the chat I think is behind. On um, let's see. I don't know. Rescue dogs, you're welcome. You are welcome. You can check, you can check some of my, my Red Talk Lives are good. They're coming back because you could actually interact. You could ask questions. You put your hand up, I tap on you, and you come on up, and you could uh, ask whatever you want. Do you still have those all on your channel, or are they still in Reddit? Yeah, they're still here. Yeah, they're in my videos. They're, they're not in live. They're in regular videos. They're all there. I have a really good one on um, just on uh, – like healing after like domestic violence and stuff. It's actually pretty. It's actually really good. I had a, had a uh, had another cop who that was her. Uh, she was in domestic violence uh, task force. She was really good. I'm awesome. Thank you. I tried to be awesome. You you've been missed. I mean, it's, I was talking. I know. I was, um, someone was asking me who, um, about you yesterday about who you. They were like, "Who's this CD guy?" And I was like. Who are you? No, yeah, who are you? Where were? You? Where have you been? Not where have I been? This new, all this new school of uh, YouTubers. <laughs> like respect. You got to respect um, the people that have been around. Yeah, I'm just playing. Yeah. Well, who's been around is you know the one. Randy Listen, my my whole thing is I have integrity, and I, when I when I was like, it, and it wasn't that I I didn't say anything wrong. What I said was kind of like. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of just kind of like, you know, just please, you know, you got to really think about what you're saying. You're retired, you know, law enforcement and it holds weight. And I'm like, yeah, it does. So I'll take a little break and my little break turned into I'm coaching team after team. I, I'm bouncing around. It's just, I got, I've just been really, really busy. But well, I'm yeah, life busy. I haven't done a lot. Of it, busy. it does. It just gets, it, it honestly it does. I think it was, I think it was maybe, Maybe ten months ago, I did a live. I think that's the last time. That's a long time, but it feels like that. It really does. It feels like that. I think. I think the last time I did a live on, on my channel was June, maybe. Yeah. So I you, mean, could, you could have live this. I, I put the thing in there. You could have put it on. Why not? <laughs> I've been around. I've been. We don't do it for clicks and views. You know that. <laughs> yeah, but that's. The, I mean, that's the whole thing. Is that you know. What uh, CD of the prosecutor review questions with you before trial? Yes. What they were going to ask me? Yes. And just we would go over all the evidence too. I mean, that's just that's standard. That's absolutely standard. You know, just like the defense is going to go over with their witnesses, they're going to go over questions and what they think, you know, the prosecutor is going to ask them. That's normal. Do you think, I, I, do you think they're going to house um, Richard Allen? in um carroll county jail during the trial i think so because it just if you think about it, it just makes sense 
for the commuting back and forth. I mean, listen, you're taking you're talking about six days a week traveling back and forth. You could have an accident. You have a wacko try and take out, take out the, you know, take them out as, as they're doing an escort. You never, you just don't know. You got crazy people around this case. Best thing to do is keep them there. Is, is to move them there and keep them there. Friends there. So, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's all around. It's a problem. Listen, let's talk about the patches. You know, I spoke about the. I got called out for the patches too. I'll, I'll be honest. But you're not supposed to put patches on. I mean, I've never heard. And I and I told. But I remember I told you. I said if it's being said and it's being put in a, in, in an affidavit that it, they had they had them on. They did. Oh yeah. You, you're not you're not going to lie about that. And it was true. It's it's wacky, you know. I, I mean, even if an officer passed away and we were we were going to put our, our band on, it has to be authorized. You know that comes down from the bosses. You can't just you can't just throw a morning band on. Right. You know, I, I think after nine eleven we had them on for maybe two two years. I mean, the morning band was on for a, a long time, but it's it it has to it has that has to be authorized from above. It just you can't do whatever you want. But at the jail, they, at the prison, they were doing whatever they want. Right. Yeah. But it also doesn't just throw a patch her, on. It also doesn't mean that they were harassing and bullying Richard Allen. No, yeah, no. I'm I'm not saying I'm not wrong, saying that's what it was either. All I'm saying is that it, it was in there, it was it was factual. And yeah. why they had them on is is is, is wacky. It, it doesn't really make sense. <clears throat> we just need true crime Jesus to make a comeback. Where is this true crime Jesus guy? I think he was hacked or something. I think I, I actually think that he re-uploaded with some of this video recently, like in the last couple of months. I think he, he had some interesting, he had some interesting videos. You know, he had some interesting videos, some interesting music behind it. You know, he'd make, make you think. He would definitely make you think. Um, Tom, getting back to this, yeah, you you would, um, you know, you would you would go meet at this office and go over everything. You know. In the, in the, when I when I was in the city when I started in the city when you would make an arrest you would have to call you know if you were in the Bronx you'd have to call you know the 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 Bronx court and you'd have to basically go over what you got and this is what I'm gonna charge them with and an ADA would tell you okay and they would void out some of the charges you know or add one and you know they they it was you were working hand in hand from right from when you know got back to the, the station house so it just you know that's pretty much protocol. Not that it links him to Kelly, but of course that was DNA at this time. I'm assuming you're talking about Richard Allen. Of course they would. They got in his in his gums and rubbed that thing around. Right. I'll tell you right. one case. One case we worked on. I'll tell you a pretty cool thing. We got DNA off the handle of the door. It's pretty good. That was right. with the feds. It was pretty well, good. We have, no, we have no idea what they got. You know, we know that they took they took stuff from his car. We don't know what DNA they got in his car. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. If any, if but any. yeah, it's true. Very true. I do think that they're going to go at the witnesses, though, with the uh, different color clothing and whatnot. That's going to get exploited. It just that's just well, the way it goes. You know, and I mean that that you know that could be you know something as simple as you know because just like the prosecution doesn't have to include or law enforcement does, doesn't have to include everything, all of the evidence they have in a PCA. The mm -hmm. defense can then, you know, can pick and choose what they want to use to to point to paint the picture that they want. You know, for example, Betsy or um, uh, Sarah Carborough. You know, she may have because they always say in the twenty in twenty her twenty seventeen interview um, where she only said muddy and she didn't say bloody. Um, but you know, yeah. she may have then done a second interview in twenty eighteen where she did say muddy and bloody. The defense sure. went with the just muddy, whereas the prosecution went with the muddy and bloody. But. but why wasn't the bloody put in from the beginning? That's a very big detail miss. You know what I mean? It's a big detail miss. I mean, and uh, wait, you know. started, I started with the NYPD. I was a rookie in the academy July 2001. Pulled out of the academy for 9-11 and um, transferred um, to a different county and worked in special investigations. Um, was with the DA for was with the DA for like six months. Uh, sworn in as DEA agent just for the certain cases we worked on. A lot of fun. Great career. Great career. And now I'm here on YouTube. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know? Yeah, six terabytes is a massive amount of data. Massive. massive. I mean, that's that's unbe it's un it's unbelievable amount of data. 
which I think that's also why they, they're trying to bring that other attorney on for data analysis, because it, it's a lot. Oh, I didn't get to say this. I, I feel it's terrible if Rick is getting divorced. I, I don't wish that on anybody. That's tough and terrible. I, I just all my whole point of that whole thing is it shouldn't happen at the courthouse. Nobody should be talking about anybody's wife. That, that should be off limits. You have a problem with a, a guy? Talk about him. Don't go after the wife. I don't know what else is going on. I just think it's not the time or place at a courthouse where he's supposed to testify. You know, it's it just it just doesn't make sense. Not the time or place. Hundred percent, not the time or place. <clears throat> Um, Peter, I don't think that I don't think that's going to hurt the case at all about her not granting some expenses. I, I I don't think it's not like she's not granting any expenses. I just think there's, you know, I, listen. I, my whole thing with the whole with the whole judge, I just think she has to be more partial because you, you don't want you don't want the grounds to an appeal to be on the judge. It's just my opinion, you know. Did I see any corruption within the NYPD? No, the corruption was was cleaned out when I was there in 2001. I mean, uh, I did, I don't, um, IAB, Internal Affairs, they're working all the time. Like, say, like, you get called to a house and the door's open, right? They might have set that house up with hidden cameras to catch a cop, you know, going through drawers and stealing stuff. It happened all the time. The cops got caught and arrested and lost their job. Um, I was at the precinct I was at, there was a girl working with a guy, um, two cops and they were, uh, they were basically getting paid to make fake accidents. And it went on for like two years. They finally got caught and busted. But yeah, I mean, like anything else, there's bad apples everywhere. New York city. When I, when I was in New York city, it was, we were, I was one of 37,000 uniformed officers. That's a lot of cops. So yeah, you're, you're going to, you're going to have some people. Yeah, uh, my my shield was in the twenty seven thousand range. <laughs> Not crazy, twenty seven thousand. Wow! You see, some of these people have one. Okay, <laughs> I started with twenty seven thousand. It's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, you know, and then mine went to the hundred, but yeah, started at twenty seven thousand. Pretty in, pretty intense. Pretty intense. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I agree that cross examination by the defense is, is going to be brutal. It, it's going to be tough. It is because, you know, like, like Adam said, it, it could have been that the bloody was added on a year later. That's a huge, that's a huge detail to not be on from the beginning. I, I, my, my whole thing is that even if it was an oversight, what, whatever, it's just, there's too many oversights on this case that just everything adds up. It just does lost data, lost in, interviews, lost interrogations, the, the lost footage from the the gas station that could be on the gas station, you know, but still it's, it's another like hit to the law enforcement. It's just, it, you know, it's, it's a snowball that just turns in. It just rolls downhill into an avalanche. See, have you seen what went on the Gilgo Lisk? Which part? Uh, how can I, she's under a gag order. I've heard. I don't know which. I, there's some. I don't know if we're missing comments. I'm not really sure. Could be. Not sure. Why would you make a fake accident? Um, they were making fake accidents to get paid, because um, basically somebody could say they were injured when they weren't, but they're going to collect. You know, they're going to collect um, insurance money. They're going to sue. They're going to get a lawsuit. You know, there was there were these cops were you know they were staging accidents and they were getting kickbacks. They were, I think they were getting like. $250 each one. But if you do that, you know, three times a week, that's an extra 350, uh, you know, they were splitting it, but they got caught. They got, they got nailed. He actually about right after when I got, when I got hired and I got put, I was, it was the 45th precinct. It might, might be online. You might be able to find it, you know? Um, but um, he actually left for the fire department. Cause you could lateral transfer. Like if you're on the yeah. list for the FD, you could lateral transfer and your time carries, you know, to your retirement. It's just day to day. And uh, he got he got uh, arrested while he was in the FD, and he got fired. And, and she didn't, though. I believe she got um, she was because she had twenty plus on, so she was able to you know to lock her pension in. That's the problem, you know. You got to get them before they're they're, they're retiring. You know, they got the retirement time because they get to keep their pension, you know. 
Yeah, they may have no choice. So many are anti-American and unconstitutional. Oh, well, a lot of people hate America. Just, you know, it is what it is. That's insane. Oh, uh, yeah. It, uh, it was wild. It was wild. 27, yeah, 27,000 shields, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was more than that. But you got to remember that there was, you know, patrolmen, detectives, sergeants, you know, there, once, once you get, once you get above sergeant, you don't have a, you don't have a number, you know, you, there's no number on your badge, but lieutenants, New York city is crazy. It goes lieutenant, captain, um, deputy inspector, full inspector. Then you go to the chiefs. It's wild. It's, it's, you know, there's a lot of promotions down there. Lot of promotions. But yeah, twenty-seven thousand was uh, my shield number was in. Wow. Have you seen the document with the brothers and NYPD and Barbara Butcher? No, I don't. No. What? What is it? What is it? I try to stay away from it. If it's something on nine eleven, I stay away from it. That's yeah. uh, that's all put away in the file cabinet. That's where that is. It's just not for today. All right, just fine on behalf. No, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think he will. Listen, let's see. Let's see what happens as they, as they get closer to the trial date. You know, you never know. Might be a plea deal. You never know. Might be why uh, the charges, you know, were added on. You never know. What do you think the chances of that are? I mean, I know, I know, I know other people, have, I've heard other people say yes. I've heard other people say no. Um, I personally, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they offered one, but I don't see the benefit to Richard Allen um, to take one at this point. But, but I don't. But I don't know all the evidence. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. We we don't know everything, you know. Uh, I don't. What if? What, let's say this. I'm trying to think about how to say it right. What if there's info he has? And a plea deal could, you know, work in his favor a little bit, you know? No, no. Never know. Never say never, man. Yep. I think he, I think Tom was just saying that's crazy for 27000 yeah. or maybe he was asking a question. I'm not sure. But, yeah, there was a lot of shields, a lot of badges. It's a proud day, gun and shield day. A lot of, you know, did a lot of running in a gym to get that. Imagine. No. Yeah. Three, <laughs> three, and, and when, when you're doing PT and defensive tactics, you're 300, three, about 300 cops, about 300 recruits in a gym. The gym was huge in the police academy in the city, but there's no, there's no air. There's no air blowing. So this is the summer. Every 26 laps was a mile. And you would just hear this. You'd hear somebody drop, pass out. And they just, it was right across the street from Cabrini Hospital. So they'd pick them up and just bring them to the hospital. And, and then you're going, man, am I next? Because that, you know, it's, it was, at, there was a temperature game. It was like 114 degrees in there. Wow. Oh, so hot. You're just sweat. But the whole thing is if you, if you didn't collapse and you just fell out of the run, then you do the suicides over and over again. You're better off just staying, you know, staying and just going. Yeah. I got caught, I, and I, I, it's not even like I caught, I just was made an example because I'm Italian, and I'm sorry to say, NYPD, and you're Italian, you're going to have a hard time a little bit. You know, it's just the Irish way. And uh, one guy said my jumping jacks weren't high enough. So I got pulled over to a huge ass cone, and I had to do 100 squat thrusts before we ran. You know what a squat thrust is, right? Yeah. It's, like a bur it's like a burpee, I guess. Kind of like a burpee. Yeah. And he, this fat just stood there. And counted every one. I was, I, th I honestly thought I was, I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to drop dead today. That's what's going to happen. I, I, you know, you just give up in mind. You're like, I'm just going to, yeah, you yeah. just keep going, but you're basically, your brain is shut down. Oh yeah. They, listen, that's the whole thing. It's just, it's about programming you. It's, they break you down and they build you back up. It's like, it's paramilitary. Yeah. I've never seen so many other countries up in the deck watching how the NYPD is trained. Never. You, you have like militaries from like Bahamas, like all these places come because, you know, it's uh, pretty. It's pretty. It's not. It's almost like oh, I'll give it. I'll give that a watch. It sounds good. What's it called? Ninety six to two thousand two. I there. There was a homicide I had that that might be on there. Was there? Was there a stabbing? 
with the guy who slit his own wrists, he threw me over the police car. He was in front of the White Castle just slicing his wrists, you know, with the knife. Oh, yeah, so we're just trying to get him to the hospital at that point. Like, this guy needs to be mentally evaluated. He was, uh, when he stood up, he was like 6'4", 312 pounds. Dude, he threw me over. I went flying over the police car into the street by White Castle, Westchester Avenue, the Bronx. There's there's a new one on Netflix. Maybe it, it might be the one Steph was talking about called Homicide NYPD. Um, I think that's what she's saying. Yeah, that's what she thinks she's saying. It's by um, Dick Wolf. The guy he he actually Wolf. killed he killed his girlfriend in Manhattan North. That's why. That's, episode, so I can't. But so I don't think that one's on there. But um, no, they were just kind of cases that stood out in these detective um, careers. And it was he, yeah, the he, South, cut, he, South he cut his wrist so deep that when my handcuffs were on them, you couldn't see the metal. Ooh. So so after after Manhattan North comes and takes custody of them, right? They I had gloves on. They get hand me my handcuffs and I just throw them in the garbage in the hospital room. They're like, you could clean those. I go, uh yeah, I'm gonna bring them home, boil them, clean them, then throw the pot out. I have more. No, thank you. Throw them right in the garbage. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm covered in blood. No thanks. There in my mind, you're never getting those clean again. No thanks. Garbage. Got four more pairs in my bag. We're fine. What if this case is linked to the CSAM? Because what the heck is he doing those first days, weeks, years? Oh, I, I mean, listen, I, I agree with you. I, I still I, I still don't understand how uh, there were two bad wolves that day. You know, big bad wolves. Where you, you had Keegan texting to meet her. You know, who knows? You never know. He's not going to plead. He's innocent. I, I, I'm, I think you're joking. I'm not sure. Rick has given up any other actors for over a year and a half. If he's just BG, someone else killed them. I would think he would implicate them. He called his wife and said he killed them. I, Tom, I get it. I mean, listen, I'm not saying that he didn't say he uh, killed them. That's not what I'm saying. A adding the two charges on March 18th, right? You're, you're adding charges on kidnapping that ended up in a murder. Um, that, just, that just opens a door for what if. That's all I'm saying. It opens a door of what if. You know? If they if they had him dead to rights that he's the killer and they have everything they need evidence wise, I don't think they would have added that. You know, those were the actually the, those were actually the original charges in October 2022, and they removed them and put the murder charges on. But now they added those two back. So that's just that to me. That's just you know, it's it's been from the beginning. It's just they they keep they keep the door open like there's there's more to come. You know, we're, we're, the case isn't closed yet. You know, it's not the time. It's not the time to. Uh, it's not the time to. Um, you know, to cheer on. Case that wants me is really bingeable. I found that on Roku. I don't know what the original ne network was though. I'm not sure what that is. Catching up, CD Ellie has been lying to public for seven years. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say lying. I would. I mean, they're just. You know. I wouldn't say that. Told his mom he killed him. That's huge. Who tells her own mom that and breaks her heart? And Kristen, I'm not, again, I'm not saying that he didn't, but let's just say he was, let's just hypothetical. What if he was in a mental psychosis? That's all I'm going to say. Being in, in locked in a room for 24 hours, 23 hours a day, whatever it is, can do crazy. I've seen it do crazy things. I had a man who killed his mother and brother, stabbed them over and over again. Oh, and I'm sorry, stabbed the mother over and over again, rolled her up in a rug and shoved her in the basement tub. And then he sat there and waited 12 hours for his brother to come home from working at the post office, and he shot him with a 12-gauge shotgun in his face, close range. Then he took his brother's body, shoved him, and snapped him in. I'm sorry, it's graphic. Snapped his legs to his face, like basically snapped this brother like a pretzel in an old box freezer, okay? And I had to sit with him for 12 hours, and this man was talking about his mother and brother like they were still here. Mommy's going to be mad at me. I'm like, dude, mommy's gone. You slayed mommy, you know? I, I mean, really. But that's mental psychosis could do, could do crazy things. I'm not saying that's definitely what happened. I'm just saying, just giving info. That's all. <clears throat> At one, what point will he change his mind? Whose mind? Oh, because Ruckus said I think he's going to play. Well, I mean, Ruckus has a law enforcement background, right? Ruckus, you're retired too, right? I mean, I just think that... Um, I think it's a possibility. I'm not saying it's a high possibility, but it, it's always a possibility. Uh, for the last seven years, everyone said they didn't know much because Ellie was keeping it so tight lip, but yet they lied for seven years. I don't get people saying that. 
Well, I mean, I mean, so I think I, I mean, lied is a, is a strong word. I mean, yeah. maybe not telling all truths, you know, not giving it all out there of, of what they lost and everything else. I and mean, that could be possible. Oh, Tom, I, I cleared the, uh, the roof lights. I cleared it. I, I, got, I was thrown into traffic. Uh, Westchester. I mean, look it up. Look, you want to go on Google Earth and look up Westchester Avenue in the Bronx, right, where White Castle is, right in front of the White Castle. I got thrown over the car and landed in the roadway. It took about I would I would say it took about fourteen of us to finally get him in custody and and wow. you know get him to comply. Dude, he was he was strong as hell and he was on drugs. I was thrown. I, I got to say I was thrown about twelve feet and in the air. Yeah, it hurt. It was not fun. It wasn't a fun day for me. But that made me really uh, learn to use my baton because, you know, you're like new and you're like, oh, I, I don't know if I should hit him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hit you next time. Do you think McClellan actually believed there were others involved at the time? Or, well, he McClellan said it, Ivy. Yeah. He, he said it. He said, well, he said it. I think she's asking, what do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think he said that? Do you think he actually why do I think, think he said that? Um, I think he did believe it. Yeah, I do. I absolutely do. I'm not saying he believes that today, but he did on that day. And in October 2022, he did. Sweet Pea, please don't be rude to Kristen. No, who's being rude? Yeah, don't be rude to Kristen. We love Kristen. Yeah, what's going on here? Study and do. All right, go easy. Let's nobody fight. All right, everybody be happy. My chat is all about, you know, everybody gets along. All right, let's all get along. There are a lot of fake confessions. True. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying, you know, if, big if, mental psychosis, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I mean, I've seen people just start shitting their pants and sitting at it. Like, they're, I mean, I, I've seen the craziest things when people are in cells, and it's only for short periods of time, you know, up to a day at times. I, but, you know, a lot can happen. Right. And sometimes it just breaks you down enough to tell the truth. So Yeah. Well, that, that could be, listen, that could be it, too. That could absolutely be a two. It, it'll all depend on the context, you know, which none of us have seen and none of us know. Most don't talk about Elvis Fields and hold their own details of the crime scene. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Teresa, I get it. I get, I get where you're going. I'm with you. I get it. I'll ride in the car with you. Let's go. I'm, I'm down to talk about it, but let's just be nice. We don't, we don't need to attack each other. People said I eh, had to drop the kidnapping charge because they're five. no, they, they didn't get to add the kidnapping charge. They tried to add those two kidnapping charges on top, but five year statute of limitations, no. But they did re add the charge of kidnapping where murder occurs. Right. Which was, was, the, which was the original charge to begin with. Yeah, that was that was the original charge. And then they switched it to regular, you know, regular not regular, but a homicide charge, two two counts of homicide. But they added those two kidnapping with um but, you, know, you know with, me, with, I, with I, ends I of murder. I feel like the fact that they actually that they added on the um, the two um, additional counts of murder actually, I kind of believe the opposite of what you. I think because I, I believe that it actually um, shows um, more confidence coming from the prosecutor's office that you know that yes they have that, the original charges of the murder with the kidnapping, but the fact that they think they can prove their case on murder alone, it's a stronger burden. I don't think they. I don't think they do think they could they could go murder alone. That's why they added these well, two. Well, I mean, don't back. Don't you to begin with? They added the two murder charges. No, they were they removed the kidnapping with murder, and added these back. No, so if you, if you look at the charges, they have the the, the murder while murder while committing a felony. Those were the two yeah. original charges. Yeah. They, they, um, they then were going to amend and add the charges of two counts of just murder, and two counts of kidnapping. The two counts of kidnapping um, got withdrawn during the hearing on the 18th. So no. as of now, he's he, he's being charged with two counts of felony murder, which is the um, act of murder while committing a felony, and two um, two additional charges of murder, which it's Hold a stronger on. burden to prove, just a murder charge. One second. I think it actually shows more more um, confidence coming from the prosecution in that they can prove their case. The way I took it, and the way WTHR reported it, is. Two counts of murder while committing or attempting to commit kidnapping, right? Yes. They were previously filed October 28, 2022. Mm -hmm. 
So are they saying that they refiled them? No, they, those, those never just, those, those, those never those never went away. Those, that, okay. that, that, those have been the charges since um, since he got arrested. They added okay. the two the two additional charges of kidnapping alone and two additional charges of well the uh, kid, it's kidnapping they can't uh, it's just it's too long yeah it's, right, it's, exactly. the time frame exactly. is but they also added two counts of murder which actually has a stronger burden to prove oh, no, it does it does have a stronger burden to prove uh, my so, hope is that what the hope my reasoning is they're not, they're leaving the other ones too is that let's just hypothetical not guilty on murder but guilty on kidnapping right. murder you know right. what i'm saying it's just so, I mean, it's it's another layer stronger. it's just a layer they created a stronger burden for themselves, but they still have the original, you know, yeah. an easier burden. Um, I, I guess I just, I saw it wrong. The way they, the way they reported it is kind of like a tongue twister. Yeah, it really it is. is. Yes. Well, not, yes and no. Yes and no. They have to prove intentional homicide. Ye yes and no. It, it's not, it, it's a little bit different with, with the kidnapping. I'll look it up in a second and, and read it. I just want to, I'm just trying to stay caught up here. Again, I'm falling seven minutes behind. Well, we can't, listen, they tried to get his, his psychological and they're not giving it to him. So we can't say he definitely was. They yeah. are getting him. Um, Rosie, Rosie wants to, you know, what did he say? He wants to um, go through them first. But um, it's fine. But what I'm saying is, as of this moment, yeah. we can't say that he wasn't in a psychosis state. I and mean, with that picture of him where he's like this, shriveled up i mean that that's just listen could be an act could be not saying it isn't but they're listen they're portraying it in a certain way yeah i got a i got a bridge in baltimore to sell you no <laughs> listen i've seen both ends of the stick man you know what i'm saying i i've seen both ends of the stick and sometimes again i'm not saying the wrong guy was arrested sometimes it happens not right. saying that's the case here just trying to Logical and straightforward. Yep. Raider, I don't know what Ellie did to verify alibis other than talk to PW Sun Kids. It seems like Ellie didn't process the search warrants for the phone data, which is not good. Well, yeah, I mean, that's – I don't understand that either. I mean, I really don't. And it's just, and that's just to verify a timeline. That's all that is. It's, you're, you know, I know people are, oh, yeah, the family. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you should have every everybody's cell phone data should have been taken to confirm what time. Oh, Cody called that blah. You call that blah. That's all. It's it's just to, it's just to get a logical timeline. Nothing else. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's Ra and his family listening to his lawyers not not talking totally crazy. What, why? What is what? Kel, what? What benefit is is it for his wife to speak right now? There's there's no benefit. There isn't. You know, she in her in her head, she's a target uh, of being attacked and everything else right now. I, I don't I don't think it's in any interest of her. With all the drug trafficking and human traffic going on, it's hard to realize that the flow of money has corrupted many people, control the people. Yeah, sweet revenge. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, human trafficking isn't isn't uh, talked about enough. Um, domestic it could and it could just start with domestic violence and lead to other things. It's human trafficking is a huge worldwide business in a sense where bad actors are all over it because they're making a lot of money on it. Never ever seen being used to convict a person with COVID and not charged at the same time or unknown. I agree. I I agree with you. That's that's you know that's just the. There's, Mel, there's so many questions. There's so many. It, that's the whole problem. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not defending Dicky. That's not what's happening. It's just there's just so you know, just so many things. Really not good, especially when you're down to clean phones. Yeah, I just don't. I don't understand the whole phone thing. Why they, you know, why they didn't take their phones that night and just, you know, just upload them. It doesn't. That's what happens all the time. You know that, that it, it's just the logical thing to do. Let me see. What, oh, you called it at three fifteen. You started calling. Okay, we're gonna. It's just a verification. It's, it it clarifies the timeline. Right. I mean, and we because we know that you know, um, for Becky Patty has said that you know that they went that she went home and got all of Libby's devices and brought them to the the police station when they were trying to kind of like reach her. That's th that's what I'm saying. That that's that's even the weirder part. Like, oh, yeah, he spoke to her today. He talked about Keegan. 
you know, the, this Anthony Schott spoke to her today. Why wasn't this, you know, right. I guess they got, but that was looked into. Where, or they, or they are those reports sitting with another agency and they have just haven't, aren't, you know, there's, you know, is there a report out there? But, you know, it got put in the hands of another agency and like it just never made its way back. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's I, no I, right I, answer. No, there isn't. There, and, and the whole thing with, with you know, the, the people in play in this is it could be anything. Yeah. You know, you can't put it. It's to me, outside looking in, this was way too big for Tobe. It just was. You know, this was too vast. There's too much going on. You got two, say, 200 cops helping, interviewing people, just, just clarifying things in different right. spots. There's nobody. Each unit that's going somewhere should have had a boss. Right. And taking, oh, and, and then by the end of that day, going over what they did. That's how it's supposed to be. That's not what happened here. Here it was gunslinging. Oh, you go there. Oh, nothing. There's everything should have been documented. You know, detective so and so from this department was with officer so and so. They went in and interviewed blah blah blah. And this is you know, it, it's just right. And where do you, think part of, this? do you think part of that first, like that first twenty four hours? Do you think part of like some of that is the fact that they that you know no one really expected this to be a criminal act at that time. I mean, because remember, if you remember back to the very beginning, I mean, these were two missing girls. I mean, people didn't know if they had gone somewhere else and were being a 13 and 14 year old. Or remember, there was talk about did they go to a late movie? Um, oh, hey, or, the late movie, yeah. The movie, the movie's out now. Let's. Tobe said, "Oh, the movie's out now. You know, late movies out. Let's hope they turn up." What? And then you know, like I think you know, even the um, even the families, you know, you know, were more concerned about did someone fall? Did one of them fall? You know, was yeah, there an accident? yeah. You know, so I mean, no one. At, at the end of the day, this is the worst case scenario, and it's not what you think of. You, you don't, you know, you're not going with the worst case scenario of this is what it's going to be. It's just not the way it goes. You know, it's um, you know, it's a uh, it, it, so many questions. Yeah, I agree with you, Tom. The defense said that he was okay mentally in solitary five months until April third. The vid, the audios were April first and second. I get it. I get it. And I think the picture was taken that same week. At the end of the day, could he be faking with, with his arms all, you know, Kaiser so said? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, the guy lost a shit ton of weight at that point. I mean, he just didn't look well. I'm not saying that that goes hand in hand. He just didn't look well in that picture. So then make his burden of proof harder by adding. No, he didn't. I don't think he made it harder. Well, he harder for the separate murder charge, yes. But it's not harder for the case. It's It's, you know. It's all going to be, you know, same, one of the same. The attacking exactly why many of us just lurk in the comments. People are so rude. Cindy, you're allowed to say whatever you want here. Don't, don't, don't feel like somebody's going to attack you because we don't play that here. The mods will, if they got to throw somebody out, they can throw them out. I'm down. Right, but Cindy, I do get it. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. Listen, toxic chat is not welcome here. So be nice. We checked on every so many minutes. Is he really and saw it? Well, no, I get what you're saying, but, you know, solitary, it's not like the guards were talking to him. You know, it's not like he was having, like, conversations. You're alone for five, six months, 23 hours a day where you go outside for an hour to get, I don't even think he went out fully outside there because of just the, the way the place was, you know, set up. I don't know, you know. Well, hey. Nobody was, let's be honest. Nobody was being nice to him there. Let's be honest. He's forty-one yeah. days away from um, from hopefully sitting down and get, um, having his day in court. So, yeah, let's get there, <laughs> Kristen. I get it, but that's that's why we have trials. You know, that's why we have trials, and I'm not on Dickie's side at all. You know, it's just the way the court system works, and I know everybody hates the defense and blah blah blah. They're just playing the game that they're they're meant to play. It's just the whole thing is this case is so big, you're seeing it. This happens every it happens every day. It just does. I, my integrity was questioned just to put it out there. I never had anything put in my file against me as a cop, but it was put out there just to make that up there. Like, oh, he's not good. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's it's just the game to them. It's it's the game they have to play for for their client. <clears throat> Hold on, like it proved to be lying under oath. Well. I don't know. I'm not going to touch on that. This is what I appreciate about CD so much. Even though you have your own beliefs about the case, you still acknowledge that the possibility of one of the, I mean, it's what I did. That's what I did for my career. I mean, there was, you know, there was cases that I was hung up on somebody and 
we went somewhere else and it ended up being somebody else. It's just the way you have to move with the evidence. You have to move with it. You have to move. You don't move, you're not going to last in investigations too long. Ari had those inmates help watching him when he was on suicide watch. So soon they would talk. What, what is that? L RA had those inmates help watching him when he was on suicide watch. So I assume there was a right. They had remember some of the um, they had a program in the prison or whatever where like um, they would have someone like watch people like they were on like suicide watch. Um, yeah, they were they like they 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 had good they had good um, reports, so they were allowed to do. The, they were doing the checks. You told me they were doing the fifteen minute checks. I, I'm not sure. I don't know what. I don't know. What I, 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 I think. I, I mean, if that's what. I, that's crazy. If that's what they're doing. I don't know if that's what yeah, you mean. I, no, I think they were just kind of a companion, like that would watch them as well. Uh, uh, they had actually yeah. contact. You know, I mean, I'm sure they could talk. Um, but let's be honest. Dickie Allen doesn't look like the most social person in the world, anyway. You know, the guy looks like pretty closed off to the world. It, to me, that that's that's what I gain from him. Even when he's out at the bar, it looks like he's he likes. You know, he's. Oh, looks like he, you know, he stays to his little group. I don't really see him as being Mr. Social Butterfly. That's, you know, chatting it up with everybody. Thunder Bay. We're in Canada now. They get lied to get certain. All right. All right. Teresa, I get it. I'm with you. You, you know, I get the uh, beliefs. Um, I'm not saying Liggett's the best guy in the world either. I, I, I you know, I'm not saying that, but I haven't heard any channels. Liggett's training a pharmacy to be able to wear gloves, not leave DNA or ability to clean up a crime scene. He wasn't a pharmacy. He, he wasn't um, certified to work in the pharmacy. He was a pharmacy, pharmacy tech, right? Was he a pharmacy yeah, tech? Yeah. And he, so he wasn't, he, I think he was a shift manager. Um, and then he had, um, he had a um, pharmacy tech um, certificate. Doesn't a pharmacy tech just, like the pharmacist will say, get twenty of those, yeah. and they're watching them. I believe yeah, that's what or, they or do. They, or, or they run the register in the pharmacy. Or they run the register, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I, think, I think they're allowed to count out with the pharmacist right. supervision. I think. By the way, he yeah. wasn't doing that in 2017. He didn't get that certification until 2018. Yeah. Hmm. Still saying he's your person after he confessed to you is wild, though. What? Who the hell's saying it's your person? Not me. No, I think um, I think she meant Kathy Allen. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, listen, look, look at what's happening with, with the Long Island serial killer. You know, the, the wife standing by him. She wants to see what happens at trial. You know, you don't know what was happening in their home, you know? And, and no. again, I'm not saying that's what definitely was happening in his house, but when there's like, you know, to me, the you know, when I was serial killer, it looked like there was a lot of uh, that house was a lot of weird things could have been going on inside. Yeah. And you just don't know, you know, what he did to her, you know, mentally, psychologically. You just don't know. Defense referenced the crime scene where the three phones were. The crime scene started at the end of the bridge. So it could be phones of people on bridge between three and four. Yeah. Just remember, Tom, that Ron Logan, remember, uh, he, he was. Uh, he was located with his phone to be on the bridge and at the crime scene at the same time. So that's how big that uh, bubble could be. You know, it, you it's Brad, Brad Weber coming home at three 30 up the private drive. Yeah. You know? So that's, you know, it, it's, it's iffy on to exactly what those three phones were doing, you yeah. know, but does it put it out there that there could have been three killers? You know? Yeah, it does. And that's what the defense wants to do. And fine, Anna said. Mm -hmm. Went through all of her. Well, going through them, looking at them, and you know, you know, uploading it, you know, and you know, to be able to review it that way. I don't know what they did. I, I really don't. But supposedly they don't have the family's phones. They don't. They don't have the data from the phones. And that just doesn't really make sense. It just doesn't. Another heads, it's just you know, too many heads. Well, and they, only, and they only mentioned, um, was it Mike, Cody, and Kelsey? They didn't mention Becky. So, did, I mean, did they have hers? <laughs> I don't know, you know, I, I don't really know. Or no, it was Derek, not, not Mike, it, they didn't talk about Mike and Be Becky, they said Derek. 
Cody and um, Kelsey. Sorry. Yeah, they didn't have the three of theirs, right? Yeah. So that, that's who they put. Yeah. Uh, I think that they wanted theirs because Kelsey's the one that dropped them off. Coley's the one that was there calling to pick up his daughter and her friend, and they're not answering. I think that that, that could be the reason why they only mentioned them. I don't know. But they were the you know the last to see them and the one there to pick them up and getting no response. So that could be why. The fence said it was ritualist to kill him, but white nationalist, not meth revenge. Yeah, who, who's talking about meth? I mean, that that's the whole story of, oh, people were cooking meth and you know, they stumbled upon it. That, you know, wacky. I don't think it's, I, I could hear him clear. I, I don't think uh, Aspen's mic is low. I'm sorry, you want me to turn it up, Tom? Tom's, Tom, I think, I, Tom, yeah, Tom, Tom's a rough critic with you, huh? Yes, he's, he really, he's really slapping you around today. It's unbelievable. You have people questioning a light coming in from the sun. Yeah. How do you go home and sleep? I wouldn't leave until they were found. Well, I just think that it got dark, and you know, at the end of the day, people supposedly people did stay and search at night, but I don't know if the whole family did. I, I don't. I can't answer that. You know. You know. I think my. I think my that, one of my kids, God forbid, was missing. I'm not leaving, and you know, my dog would be loose looking because. Yeah, I think Mike said he was out there till about two a.m. Kids, you know, what's that? I think Mike said he was out there till about two a.m. Yeah, um, with a smaller group of people, and the news crews were out there at four a.m. So I mean, if you want to go up, oh, so we're not eating. Yeah, you can. You can the eating girls either. were taken away and then brought back. When were they brought back? Because that's was, I mean, like two yeah. hour window of time that. Well, well, the people that go with that the conspiracy theory will say they were riding four wheelers. Yeah, you know, like they wrote it in. I mean, what? Come on. Do, you know, do they know how loud? A, I, I guess they don't know how loud a four wheeler is in the woods, right? When when you know you got people looking, you know, searching. They're loud. I, I don't know if anybody's ridden a four wheeler. They're right. damn loud. You know. It right, reminds me of an old friend of mine. That's on medication for mental issues. It's the medication written all over his face. Shane, you never know. You know. He, um, listen, it's either he was, you know, great at acting, um, lost weight from just trying to starve himself or he has, you know, some kind of mental issues, you know, can't decide, Not, you know, let the reports, let the reports tell the story in the end, who actually wants to be right about something. So even though there really is just one look true, Thank you. but you know, there's, there's people that, you know, they, they can't let go of their theory that they've been on for, you know, six plus a year, seven, seven years now. And they can't, they just can't let it go. So they, you know, they try and poison everybody. Mm -hmm. I agree, Alexa. They, you know, that, I, and I only think it goes to, they weren't prepared, you know, they weren't prepared for a case like this. And that's just what it comes down to. You know, at that point, they're only missing. There's only so much they're going to get. You did have the fire, the volunteer fire chief say that it was getting too risky because right. they couldn't light up areas. So they were leaving. It doesn't mean that law enforcement has to leave. But if you can't see in the woods, there's, you know, there's no, there's no street lights around. There's no nothing. So, you know, the whole thing, I mean, one of my, one of my good friends was a canine cop. He was doing a track in the woods, you know, 15 years ago. And he was with his dog doing a track, and he his knee he felt he you know, he snapped his knee so bad he had to retire. He, it bas his knee basically exploded, you know. So that comes up with the whole thing of you know risk reward on you know on continuing to search when it's pitch black out. And, and we and we actually had to carry him out of the woods. It, it was bad. It, it was a bad. Wow. It was just a bad incident, you know. And he was he was a really good cop. His dog was awesome. His dog almost bit us as we got there because he was protecting him, you know. He didn't know what the hell happened. The guy's just on the ground screaming, and he's, you know, the dog's thinking somebody hurt him. CSI vehicles were at the cemetery, Mears Farm, CBS Bill, more than one crime scene location. Um, I Defining crime scene. Remember that the, you know, where they were abduct abducted from to where they were found, that's one crime scene. Where the vehicle was supposedly parked, another crime, you know, that's, you're going to consider that a crime scene. You know, that, that's true. Hey Vince, how are you, man? CD's back in business, man. Oh, oh boy, the Mets. Let's not even let's not even go there. 
it's going to be another. It's going to be a rough year. Just remember, I'm a Niners fan, man. That Super Bowl was brutal, brutal. <laughs> oh, had that game won and blew it. How do you feel about forcing invoking his rights to lawyer get home and keep harassing him? Is illegal. Uh, you know, it's just that's just going to play out how it plays out. You know, is it can is it true harassment? I mean, right. It's, you know, it's on the line. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Westerman's trial is not scheduled till after um, Allen's now. It's if it, I mean, if he actually goes to trial, but I think it's scheduled for the middle of June. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, Mitch Westerman for his little okay. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. charge. Yeah. Yeah, that's um. Yeah. I don't know. It's just when when you take the totality of this case from day one to now, it it just it just has so many, so many you know tentacles. Tentacles, yeah. I mean that was that was a great line by Carter. I loved it, loved it. But yeah, it's just I don't know. You know, I I do I, what I do think is that if and and. and yeah, Cal County Sheriff's Office is a small department, very small, limited investigative skills. That's what happened. You know, I know people want to say, oh, it's lies. And, and it, no, it, it's they weren't they weren't ready to have this case. They didn't, you know, Tobe with his e ego played a part. He didn't want to re relinquish this case to, you know, state, federal. He, he wanted this case. I get it. But that's also a problem. You know, Rick's wife had to call police one night because he was so drunk and taken to the hospital. Yeah, Tom, you don't know how many people, let me tell you something, from very poor people to some of the richest people in this country. I've been to homes where one of them was drinking too much, domestic violence, that it happens everywhere, man. You know, yeah. it happens everywhere. I, that, I, that I've, seen it, I've seen it from the, you know, shack of a home to... Multi-million dollar estates, and it's just the way it is. You know, people have their people have addictions. People have you know alcohol problems. Stress comes into play, and it you know shit gets out of hand. I'm you know, and again, not defending the guy, just happens everywhere. More actors could be the tech side of this. I see you, CJK. Know what you're saying. Well, Teresa, I, I, I do agree with that statement, but, you know, alcohol, exactly. That's exactly what I'm getting to. You know, drugs and alcohol, it, it's abused. Does it, it doesn't matter anything about you. It doesn't matter skin color. doesn't matter race, uh, sex. It doesn't matter anything. You know, addiction happens. Happens. Right. I've seen it happen to the close family members and it, it you just you're like holy shit you it just happens you know somebody who has an addictive personality things get out of hand stress comes into play and they're in a hole you know that's just it's the way of the world yeah no i agree the pharmacy techs fill the script it's like you know they're standing right there get 20 whatever put them in the bottle and you know right. they have to be supervised it's not like they can be back there alone but yeah Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, and again, okay. and he started doing that in 2018. Because I mean, so I mean, cause remember he um, he developed the photos for the um, for the um, um, the photo board for um, the funeral. Remember, because he didn't charge he, he didn't charge um, Tara. Teresa, I'll go. I'll say this about Koberger: why he's, in my opinion, why he's not shackled and chained. I believe that facility might have a little better lockdown security and maybe and maybe even a lot more it's probably more officers within the court you know it, it all comes into play there's many factors to why he's not locked up like Hannibal Lecter he was never Keegan Klein was never um in a suit or anything like that yeah yeah you know they, I, I think that there's there's just there's just factors that play into it you know and we, maybe yeah, we never we never put anybody into court unless they were handcuffed shackled that's just the way it was that was that was protocol. That, that's just, you, you don't have them shackles on, you're going to get ripped. You're going to get ripped days, just the way it goes. 
And that and the person doesn't doesn't even have to get away. It's just if you're not following protocol, you're gonna get ripped. So might as well put them on. I heard people only said he was nice and helpful. Well, again, <laughs> you know, people are could be good actors when they're at work. You know, right? You, you just you just don't know. Look, look at the Long Island serial killer. Take him for example. The guy, listen, he was weird. You know, every encounter you had with a, a a pretty girl ended in a weird, awkward thing. Strange guy, but. Let's be honest. The neighbors know, you know, the house looked like the house did look like it didn't belong in the neighborhood. It's run down, whatever. Nobody thought this stuff was going on with him. So right. you just never know what's going on within, you know, somebody's doors at their home. And there and there are people that worked with um, with Richard Allen that um, have said other things other than that. So I mean, I've heard both. Yeah, yeah. You know, look it's at BCK. No one, no one ever expected Dennis Rader to, you know, be doing what he did. Yeah, true. It's true. It's very true. Money is the root of all evil. Oh, you know. Listen, it's everything. You know, it, city, towns, uh, town boards. You know, school boards. Even though they're not paid, there's it's politics and is there shadiness there's shadiness and everything look what's going on at the highest level in our country there, there's wacky shit going on everywhere you just got to not let it suck you in and eat you up because it's right. not worth it and having a light shown on it is always a good thing so yeah you know. no, it's true it's true it's like they were taking it back that someone was indicted for this major trouble homicide i'm preparing for the jump and ongoing excuse to oh true i no i'm with you I, i'm with you you know i mean it's it's like it's like the bumbling idiots, you know, like the case file, like a cartoon of the case file just bouncing into a different, you know, different guy's hands, and you can't make it up. I've I've never seen I've never seen anything like this at this scale. Mistakes are made, things happen. Everybody's human. This is just like it's a shit show. It is. It's a shit show from the law enforcement side of this shit show. Carter should have hired those sixty other um, those sixty other officers to organize all that shit. <laughs> I just think they didn't have the, the budget has to be there, and they needed somebody arrested in order to no. You know, remember what you said? Oh yeah, said, yeah, yeah. We need sixty to be yeah, we need sixty to eighty more uh, detectives on it. Yeah, yeah. There was this ex county cop here in my town. Nice guy said a bad word about him. He murdered his wife. Well, Charlie, I know a guy who was quiet and very weird. You never think anything of it. Um, he annihilated his whole family. Retired cop. Yeah. You would never. You would never think any. I mean, yes, he was weird. I did. Uh, you know, I, I was a traffic cop. I rode the motorcycle. He was a different agency, but we rode with him a lot and stuff. He never rode the motorcycle. He stayed in his car. He didn't. Ten cops sitting around, you know, standing around our bikes talking. He'd be off in his car, and one of my guys would be like, "You have no idea how weird that guy is." But you would never think that that's what would happen, and that's what he did. You know, terrible. Uh, abs absolutely, you know, vile, terrible stuff when you, when you think about it. But that's just, that's, again, that's the way, you know, you, you just don't know what's going on in somebody's mind. You don't, you don't know, you know. Tattoo you, how are you? Every time someone's arrested, people talk shit for five minutes of fame. Yeah, well. Clicks and views, you know, it's on every social media app, TikTok, you know, X, it's everywhere. That That's, you know, that's what it's all about. They're trying to get engagement. That's the way it goes. Private drivers under the bridge is sort of a crime scene. It wasn't specified to be first near where the bodies were found. No, I'm just, I was bringing up, Ron, oh, you're talking Ivy Push. I was bringing, I was just bringing up the Ron Logan um, search warrant that, you know, described him as being on the bridge and at the crime scene at the same time. How do you even know for sure if they were former co works not trolls? Uh, I don't know. I trolls MS talk. Yeah, no, I think they're talking about uh, when Richard Allen worked at uh, Walmart. Him being a seemingly nice, loving human is not a sign of in innocence. Like, I list many killers that are perceived the same way as Allen. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing. You just don't, you don't know what's, you don't know what, somebody's working in in a pharmacy or, or in Walmart. 
they they have to be nice if they want to keep their job. You can't just be, you know, can't be an asshole all day at your job. But that doesn't mean that when they get home, they're not a raving psychopath. You know, it's, it's just a lot of people. Let me tell you, I arrested a lot of people, and you would never think that some of these people are totally insane, and they are. Hey, hybrid. You know, it's just, it's everywhere. Everywhere. So, hey, not to not to fully change subjects, but what do you think is going on today with um, Sebastian Rogers? Isn't the uh, press conference today? Oh um, yeah, I think it was. I think it was earlier, like while we were while while we were on. Here. I thought it was eleven. I thought it was eleven Central, which would be one. I think. That would be twelve. Oh yeah, because the time change now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah, so I'm not. Yeah, sure Central. What they I, I think um, they said they. I think they said that we're not going to be any big updates in the, in the press conference, but they wanted to just keep the um, the public up to up to speed. But I haven't seen anything. I I, I just went on X just to look, and Vinny uh, Paladin said Paladin, whatever his name is, said uh, Sebastian Rogers. I don't believe what I'm hearing, and he's lying. I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's hearing exactly, but I don't know. Yeah, um, that case is that case is interesting. Um, it's I've very been following that now for about a month. Um, the Riley Strain case, I mean, a lot of people have jumped on that. Um, yeah. That missing kid in um, Texas is is interesting to me. We haven't really covered it very much, Caleb Harris. Yeah. But, um, I've been following it. Then, yeah, you know what? It, it shows you how many cases are going on and new ones pop up every day, just how awful this world is. Did you see the missing, you know? um, the missing moms in Kansas City? Missing moms, multiple. Two, yeah, two moms went missing. Uh, or I know very little about it, but two moms went missing over Easter weekend. Um, wow. They, they were going like from Kansas City to some Oklahoma, maybe. Like I said, I know very little about it, but um, yeah, two like thirty Man. mid thirty year old. That's that's moms. pretty scary. I Man, it sounds like an abduction. That sounds pretty scary. Yeah. Sound that 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 doesn't sound good. You know, two moms just traveling to a different state. And yeah. they're missing. They have kids. Yeah, I just saw like, that's morning. weird. Um, yeah, I think I just think I, I a lot doesn't add up w with that. You know, some to me, there's some weird stuff. Um, the the stepdad. I'm not saying he did anything. He he was in a different state. I don't know. You know what he did at night when he wasn't working. I don't know, but he just comes off like a like a nut. He just does, right. you know. He's, you know, he wants conflict. You, you know, he want. He, at that point, who cares what people are saying about you? You, you, you should be out every day looking for this kid. Yeah. You know, where yeah. where did this kid go? You know, where where did he go? Exactly. No shoes on. No shoes on. Fifteen year old kid. Tonight, with no shoes on. You know, that's that's weird to me too. No shoes on. Right. Not and he's not. You know, and if he left on his own, he's not caught on one camera. And you've seen that neighborhood. That, yeah. that, that that neighborhood has cameras. Yeah. Those houses have ring doorbells. Why didn't they? Yeah. You know, but my, my house, just for security purposes, every corner outside is covered. I want to know what is moving around my house at all times. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, you never know, you know, what wacko may try to find me one day. And right. Especially you know, if you travel. Meet a month a month time. Before anything, you're going to meet a maligator and then right. they'll meet me. But you might, I mean, just, your wife and kid is at home, and you're yeah. traveling for a month, and you don't have care. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. It, 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 odd, you know, uh, very odd, you know, very odd. And and even maybe at that point, with with what what they were dealing with, with you know, he's autistic. You know, you never know what's going on in the house. Have like even one camera in the living room or so, just something, something that could have caught this kid. You know, where is he? Where is he? Yeah, my, my my heart breaks for um. I mean, because if if they didn't do anything, you know, it's horrible that they've been accused. Um, but you know, just for the family and for for Sebastian, it's just yeah, I mean, like that poor kid. You know, and I, and I know people are trying to say like, oh, because I I believe somebody came forward. I think it was um, I want to say on the twentieth that somebody I saw somebody came forward and said that they saw a couple with uh, three or four kids. One of the kids had on a shirt that the stepfather wears or the father wears. I don't know what it is. It's an anime thing. And supposedly a kid looked like Sebastian had on a yellow shirt of this anime character, but no glasses. 
So it was turned in on the 20th, unknown of what happened to it. I just find it odd that um, you, you never know. You just don't know. Yeah. It's a weird case. Good I mean, to see yeah. you, too, Kristen. I'm glad you hung out for a bit. Hey, goodbye, Kristen. I mean, um, you've got, you know, the stepfather's parents, you know, they go, they drive to Alaska the day after he goes missing. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's a weird case. It is. It's, it's very, very, very strange. It is very strange. Yeah. <laughs> Cold truth. It it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> hmm. Uh, she's right, but she, listen, she's right. It, there, there's so many layers to somebody being incarcerated for that long in solitary confinement. It could be anything. It could be truth. It could be psychosis. It could be any. And I'm not going one or the other. I'm not saying the guy, the guy didn't say it. I, I believe he said it. If they're saying he said it, it's just what's the why, you know? Right. Oh, midnight. Yeah, they are. I, I was attacked by a husband one time. It, it didn't end well for him, but uh, we got called there because um, the mother just had the, 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 the wife's mother called uh, for a welfare check because she kept trying to call the daughter. Daughter wasn't answering the house phone. So we went there. Um, husband answered. They just had a baby that week and they just got home from the hospital that day. And it was so peculiar. He, he like wouldn't open the door all the way. He just cracked it. And she said, help with their mouth. So at that point, we busted the door open, got in, find out they had a domestic. He didn't want the wife talking to mom. So he unplugged all the phones in the house. So we got them both separated in the kitchen. The guy who's called was asked me, hey, could you go get me a domestic report You know, from the car while I'm talking to her? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So he thought that this guy said to me to go like take his kid out of the bedroom. So he actually grabbed my arm and, you know, like, and, like he gave me one of those burns. Yeah, that, was, that just didn't didn't end well for him. I did get <laughs> made fun of for a very long time because he had on, like, Bob the Builder pajama pants and the assault oh, of the police crazy. officer. Oh, so it was, I, I mean, listen, the whole, like, you know, you're bringing a guy in for assaulting a cop. Every cop is standing outside waiting to see who this, you know, who's this piece of shit. And he gets out of the car. He's like, you know, five foot three. Bob the Builder pajamas on, and they're just like, you know, it was it was funny, it, it was funny, but but that's that's how big of a psycho he was, though. He unplugged all the phones, you know, like she she wants to talk to her mother. She just got home from the hospital with a baby in her arms, and this guy's playing. Yeah, you know, people are crazy. People are crazy, and they lived in a beautiful like two million dollar house, beautiful, and he's playing games with the phones. But that's you know that's just what it is, you know. Ari's daughter and son-in-law are smart to keep out of the spotlight. I sent you a year ago that uh, that Twitter page, right? That yeah. weird one. You know, that was a weird one. Yep. Yeah, I questioned if it was his. You know, saying it was the other person's. Who knows? Yeah, I'm not not sure. But it was weird. Very weird. So, what does anybody else have? We're at two and a half hours. What does uh, anybody else want to talk about before we end the live? Lakeside Justice, what's up? Hope you're doing Lakeside. well. So, uh, see, what's your schedule going to be like? What are you? I mean, hope, now, you said you said you said you're back, so you have to stick to that now. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, no, I'm back. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I got to just figure out what day because it changes right now. What day my son's not in school? So I don't know, you know, sometimes he's at, he's not in school Tuesdays, sometimes he's not in school Wednesdays, sometimes he's not in school Thursdays. I would rather do it one of those days instead of Monday, Friday. So it's just like, yeah. you know, but I'll, at least once a week we'll have a live, at least. Did at least. hear that? So everyone keep... Um, maybe, 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 maybe we'll do another one Friday. We'll see. We'll see what the schedule is like this week and we'll go from there. But yeah, maybe we'll do another one Friday. Teresa, you should... Um, saying he's innocent. Yeah, I mean, that's... People are nuts. I'm not making a big deal of cops at Rick's for alcohol. I think it's yeah. No, I I I understand what you said. I, I get I get some people are like battling you on it. I totally get what you're saying that he could just listen. He might have an alcohol problem. Might have a drug addiction. Nobody knows. There there's there's many layers to it. There could be could be anything. Right. All we know is that they were um, called that night for a domestic situation. Yeah. Yeah. And then he and, 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 it, and honestly, it's something that happens every single night. Yeah. And you know, you know, and. 
bumble crap, you know, US. It happens everywhere. It happens everywhere. It just sucks when you when you get those calls and it it's you know 12 1 a.m. and they're screaming to wake the kids up. It's brutal. You know, it's brutal. Especially if it's a re reoccurring thing, it's terrible. You know, kids the kids never feel safe. They feel like it's gonna happen every day. Yeah. But yeah, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's tough. Tough world. Tough world. So anybody got anything else before we conclude today's live? Not really. I was gonna happen. Yeah, you happy to hang out. out. Yeah, I appreciate you asking me to come on. No, I always ask you to come on. Yeah, we have good conversations. You know, good conversations. That's what's important. Yeah, I missed this. I was thinking actually the other day about when we talked to Jeremy, um, and because Idaho, that yeah, itself has gotten yeah. Started. Well, I didn't I fault, fault this guy. It's just that you know, it, it's just you got to let it move along. You know, I know there's people that are live streaming every day on it. Still, it's like you're beating it to death. It, I mean, we got to wait till the trial comes. You, you know, it's like. You know, what else, what else can you say about it? I, you know, yeah. and you got to remember, there's, there's wackos that are trying to say like, oh, you know, he wasn't alone. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The guy was there 13 times that we know of before that. That either tells me, as I said before, he was either scoring drugs over there and he, and that's how he got his infatuation, which makes a lot of sense to me because a couple of people did tell me that that's where you would score drugs from, not directly from that house. But right, that right. strip right there was, you know, the pickup spot, you know. And again, yeah. the night the night it happened, he went up top. He was looking right into their bedroom. He was waiting for the lights to go out, and that's when he made his move. It, it, it's it, sorry, but it's cut and dry of what he was doing, you know, cut and dry. Thank you, CGK. I appreciate it. You too. Yeah, I'm back. I'm here. Yeah, I gotta be. I gotta be honest. Ten months feels like it went pretty quick, you know. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, maybe I'll do a live this week. Just never, never happened, you know. Listen, you're. Co I'm coaching two. I was coaching two teams for soccer. Two teams. Two teams for last spring: uh, softball, baseball. Then fall soccer, boys, girls. Right. A travel, and and in the middle of that, I still had travel softball going. So basically, oh. three teams. Dude, it's a lot. A lot of coaching, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, by last summer, getting a hold of you was like. <laughs> you can't get you could get me. I, I'm busy, busy man. And then, then when we went to Jersey Shore for a couple of weeks, it's like I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm, yeah, we're relaxing now. Well, like, so you, I I had to be the one to tell you you weren't you know you weren't a mod in for on Reddit. I didn't even know. I, honestly, I had no. I'm like what when you when you messed me. I'm like what? And then went on. I'm like and I told you. I'm like this is all from that Gonzo where these two got banned off of Libyan Abbey's. You know. I mean, what do you? It, Again, teenage like you're doing teenager shit, like bashing other moderators, uh, and you get caught. Please, wacky, you know. Oh wait, so wait, I got to get mine out. I, I made one that everybody should join. Oh yeah, and yeah. we're gonna yeah, we're gonna let me, let me go back here. Thanks, Where's uh, this thing? thanks, Marsh. Wait, it's got it's got thirteen met. When people search this, people must have went on my Reddit and saw my post because I just I just I made it. Here, I'm, I'm gonna attach it in the chat right now. This is, this is, uh, this is you should post all it hours. You should this post is it all of our new Reddit. All right. Was it? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Docs. yeah. Oh, I'm sure it'll be up there. I, I, I put it. That's our, that's our new, that's our new Reddit, guys. It's all of ours, you know? But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. Hi, welcome to, what, what is Delphi Trial? Do you know what that is? Yeah, Delphi Trial. Um, I don't, yeah, that's, I, who's I, the mods on that? Because yeah, they actually, I, they, I got a notification in the middle of this that they posted the uh, YouTube to here. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Um, oh, they're good. accused right, of so. being pro prosecution, um, but um, I, but I, I like the content when I do look at it. Um, yeah, I, I didn't I like know. Happy. Happy. I, I don't really go on Reddit. I just like, I'm like, you know what? We're gonna have our own Reddit. I, I'm not gonna deal with some British guy telling, knocking me off. A, a, been here, I've been here uh, almost the same amount of time as this guy, and he, he, he got the, he, he got the, you know, I think he went in and changed everything. And he took over the rights because she was gone. I still can't get a hold of her. I, I tried, but she got doxxed really bad, man. I get it, you know. Yeah, she, tried, she, wanted her she wanted her identity hidden. Yeah. She's a female. I get it. This case is crazy. And once somebody got, I guess, a little too close, she she, she just went out in hiding. Yeah. You have to be careful of what people's agenda is sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially when they're trying to disguise it. Um, yeah. So. True. But yeah, um, let's let's uh, coordinate. We'll talk uh, in Messenger, and and we'll um, yeah. we'll do another one. 
we'll do another one. You know, got a lot to talk about as the trial gets close. Are you are you tra Wait, before you, we go, are you traveling? You going? Um, I'm sorry. Am I going there? Yeah. Um, maybe. Not sure yet. Possible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, we had, we had a good viewership today too. We're at like two forty, two fifty. We're still at one ninety. I wish I could keep going, but I got I got a couple things I got to do before my kids start getting off buses. Yeah. You know? I was actually I was actually thinking about going live at ten, and I'm like, I said eleven. I go live at ten. Maybe nobody's gonna watch it from ten to eleven. So just wait. Yeah. But, then you're seven a.m. on the on the west coast. So I yeah, know, it's too early. Lunchtime is always good. Yeah, eleven to eleven, twelve is usually good. I I like especially for today being the first one. I'm like, we'll start at eleven because. I don't, I don't want it to rush. We start at 12 and then, Oh, it's two o'clock already. You know? Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll send you, um, I'll send you an article about those missing moms. Cause I just, I want to look more into that case anyway. So, yeah. No, send, send me, I, I, I heard nothing about it, but that's, let me tell you some, that's especially some of these highways, man. You don't know, you don't know who's lurking, you know? And I gotta be honest, you know, in, in a lot of States, you, you, you have drug cartels involved, you know, who knows who they, you know, I'm not saying anything. I don't know anything about it. But right, same. a lot of times you got some drug stuff that could be in, you know, you just never know, you know, but everybody, thanks so much for being here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave it open, even though I'm going to close it out. I'm going to leave it open so we can chat for a few minutes and then uh, see everybody this week. Cool. Thanks again, Thank bud. You. Thank you. You got it.